you're going to college just to play, play football. football. Right. And I found out she was pregnant after I left. Everybody was telling him that I was cheating. He has my big head, but he looks <laughs> just like him. And we gave a DNA test. And I've never cheated on him. He's the only guy I've ever been with. If he's not my son, I'm leaving you. It's over. Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Well, when I was on the birth certificate, I was drunk. The kids not mine don't look like me. I was at the hospital, Adam, and you said that baby was yours. All you are is a liar, a cheater, a whore. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yeah. Yeah, it was just bad. Now you took a DNA test. You look really nervous. And I have to ask, why are you crying? <laughs> Adam, Ryan, you... Willie left home and his girlfriend Veronica to go play football at college. Two months later, he finds out Veronica is pregnant. Now, Willie says there's no way he's the father. Take a look. I've been with Veronica for two years now. I left to go to school for football on a scholarship. And when I got there, a month later, she called and told me she was pregnant by me. So I came back in January and she had to find out that I was cheating on her, which I told her I was cheating. I, I found out later, six months later, that she was texting a guy on the phone. If you weren't doing nothing more than texting, why you couldn't tell me this? Why would she lie about something so little if she hadn't done anything else for so long? After that, when she got ready to have my, have my son, um, I was in the hospital with her, and I had told her I wanted a DNA test because I felt like she got pregnant while I was gone, it probably wasn't mine. So when I told her that, she gave me kicked out of the hospital with the nurses and the doctors coming to get me out the room because I wouldn't leave. That made me think even more that it wasn't my son because all I said was I wanted a DNA test. I think she cheated on me because she was trying to get back at me for cheating on her. I honestly don't think he's my son, but I still take care of him like he is because I love him, man. Like, I don't have any other kids, and this is my only child. And if he's not mine, I can start my life on other places. I honestly want him to be my son, but if he's not, I'm out. Steve, since the first time I met him, like, I love this boy. Like, I've only been with him. He took my daughter as his own, because I have another kid, and he took her as his own. He's the only guy, yeah, I did get pissed off. Like, I, he cheated on me two times. And when I found out, yeah, I wanted to go cheat on him, but I couldn't do it. Like, I love him. Like, he's the only guy, like, why did I he, ever... Why did he say he cheated on you? <laughs> he said he cheated on me because everybody was telling him that I was cheating. And then he said he suspected I was out doing things, but all I was doing and, was... And you never cheated on him? No, I've never cheated on him. I've always been faithful to him. Yeah, I did go out and text somebody else, but I didn't do nothing with him. I was never why, with him. But why did you text somebody else? Because I got pissed, because he cheated on me, and I thought I could go out and go cheat on him and do it back to him, but I couldn't do it to him. He thinks, and this has got to be hard for him, the child might not be his. That's, that's got to be a tough thing, right? Yeah, like it pisses me off every day he's accusing me. Like, he ended up throwing me and my, me and my kids out like three times. The last time he just kicked me out for good. He said he can't trust me. Like, he don't even leave me home by myself. Like, he always his, thinks I have everybody at the house. How long have uh, you guys been apart? Almost going on two months. Going on two months. And has he seen his son or allegedly Yeah, he son? still sees the kids. Like, he'll see him every now and then because my daughter asks for him all the time. So you're here today because you want to prove to him that you didn't cheat on him and that... That the baby's his, too. Tell me about what happened at the hospital when your son was born. Okay, we're sitting there, and he just kept staring at him and staring at him. I said, what's your problem? And he's like, he's like, I want a DNA test. And I said, are you serious? Are you really serious? And he's like, yeah. And I said, for what? You know this kid's yours. I've never once cheated on you. And he's like, well, he just don't look like me. And I got mad, and I had him kicked out of the hospital. He looks just like him. Like, he has my big head, but he looks just <laughs> like him. Is Willie a good father? Willie's a good father. Like, he's good to my kids. Like, no matter what, he's never treated uh, my daughter any different. Nothing. He like, treats her like it's, like it's his, his own child. Yeah.
Right now, the relationship, you guys are apart. Yeah, because he told me but he so can't. But so what does Willie say? If you pass this, if the child's mine, we'll get back together. Yeah, he said then he'll start trusting me again and everything, but... And you want to be with Willie? Yeah, I love him. I love him. I want to be with him. He's the only one I want to be with. Did you take a lie detector test? Yes, I oh, did. Oh, you did. And we gave a DNA test and mm -hmm. we'll totally verify whether Willie's the father to your son. All right, well, uh, let's bring out Willie. <laughs> if he's not my son, I'm leaving you. It's over. Right, whatever, Willie. You know I never is on you. You know I never you know the whole time. No, you, you, went, you went over there and cheated on me, but months. you went and cheated you on me. You six months. And? and you mean tell me that you are telling the truth? You ain't telling the truth. You ain't telling the truth. You know I'm telling the truth. You ain't doing nothing but lying. When these tests come out, watch. I, you owe me an apology. Right. I apologize, but I know it ain't going to be right. You got said, oh, uh, pregnant after I left. It went, okay, we, it takes a whole left, month. Before I left, you took a DNA test and it me uh, 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 a fraternity test, and you weren't even pregnant then. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's uh, junior college you're going through, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're going to college just to play, play football. football. Right. And I found out she was pregnant after I left. You took a DNA test. And the results are Willie. You're going to college just to play, play football. football. Right. I found out she was pregnant after I left. What position do you play? Defensive end. Defensive end. You're yeah. a big dude, man. All right. Um, are you any good? Yeah. So, uh, like in high school, will you be? A, were you like a, a star? Yeah, 16 and, sacks. Whoa, pretty good. <laughs> so. I mean, I imagine being a football star that women like throw themselves at you, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and being a football star, you're not gonna say no. No. <laughs> Come on, you got this beautiful woman here, right? Yeah. How long you been with her? Two years. Two years. Now she says you cheated on her, right? Yeah, I told. Uh, and why did you? Well, because you when, I, when, I got, when I when I got ready to leave. The whole time from when I got ready to leave, she was arguing. I know you're going to go chill with some girls. I know you're going to be all on the girls. And like and you're going to college just to play co you're yeah, going to college. Yeah, I go to school and play, play football. football. Right. So I was like, when it, when it happened, I just did it because I got tired of her always saying, "I know what you're doing." You're saying she wore you down. So yeah. You had to you had to sleep with them. Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. And you know that's. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's he's a college guy. You're a little bit older. Uh, maybe he. I think at college you want your freedom, right? Yeah. Why wouldn't you say that to her at least and say? I, I did. You did. Yeah. All right. I, but beyond that, do you love her? Yeah. Do you want to stay with her? Yeah. Like if she. Are you gonna I, cheat on her anymore? No. Okay. So let's get down to the fact. She had a little boy, beautiful little boy, right? Yeah. Do you want him to be your son? Yeah, she you named do. him after me. She, you named your son after him? Yeah. OK. So you're Big Willie, he's Little Willie. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and you think he's not yours because why? Because I found out she was pregnant after I left. It was like September. Yeah, but couldn't you have got her pregnant and then you left? Hey, I'm pregnant. Nah, it was at the beginning of August when I left, like August the 6th. So and in between out, then, I, before I left, we, she had just got a pregnancy test. But without any, you really have no, besides the texting, which she says she was mad at you, texting another guy. Um, but without any real proof, you don't know that she cheated on you, right? No. Why, why kick, you know, she's got a little girl that you're like dad too, right? Yeah. You kick her and the kids out of the house. What if the DNA test comes back and it's your son? I'm continuing to take care of him. OK. Will you let her move back in? Yeah. Like, my dad has been there all my life. Um, so you're hoping that she passes lie detector test. Mm -hmm. Now, did we give you one? Mm-mm. Oh. <laughs> Thank God for that, right? Yeah, I admitted it, though. <laughs> yeah, you admitted it. All right.
Uh, uh, Veronica, you came here because you, you love Willie. Yeah. You want him back. Your kids want you back. So let's hope you pass and Dean Tuss comes back and you're a father. Let's hope that. Um, since you have been with Willie, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other men? You answered no. And the results for that is inconclusive. Um, no, that just means, that just means, it doesn't mean you, you're guilt, or, you know, you're telling the lie. It doesn't mean you're telling the truth. It just couldn't read conclusively what the answer is. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't say you're lying, but it doesn't say you're telling the truth. It's just inconclusive. We couldn't get yeah, but a read on it's it. Gonna be, I'm lying. But let's exactly. read. That's a lie. Let's, let's read. The other. No, that, that does not mean that. It's a lie. There's two more questions, Willie. While Willie went away to school last year, did you have sexual intercourse with any other men? She answered no. She told the truth. In the past six months, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men besides Willie? She answered no. She told the truth. So what I'm saying is, with the first one, Apparently she was with somebody doing somebody else. Not apparently. Apparently it wasn't. Well, it wasn't able to it's get. Not, it. It's not apparently. It's inconclusive. Are you really gonna let a word break the two of you up? Yeah, he will. No. Yeah. Let's no. let's find out. Now, if I was quarterbacking right now and I was running around the stage, do you think you could catch me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. All right. You took uh, you took a DNA test. And the results are Willie. Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Well, when I saw the birth certificate, I was drunk. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yep. Uh, you took a DNA test. And the results are Willie. You are the father. Um, what do you want to say to Veronica? I'm sorry for saying I'm not the father. Sorry for asking for a DNA test. But at the same time, I know it's more to it. Before I left then, if it's inconclusive, like, it gotta be more to it. Like, I'll take another one. Be. That doesn't listen, matter to listen. me. Listen, you're getting hung up on the wrong thing here. She passed the two other questions. This could be something that's years ago. Is that? It, but I'm saying, it, it's, but you know that for a fact that you're guilty. Yeah, I told her though. Okay. No, she he didn't tell me until I checked the phone records. He would have okay. never told me. I don't understand. How long you've been together? Two years. Two years. Yeah. Do you love her? Yeah. She came here. She took the lie detector test. She didn't fail on any question, and she passed the other ones. And the baby's yours, and you don't seem happy. Yeah, I'm happy for that. But it gotta be something else. that is conclusive. She, oh. she would have passed that one too. She would have got that one too. You see what I'm saying? Like, we really, two years, she would have got that down, one too. Sit down. Sit down. No, no, no. He, he didn't do anything wrong. No, hold on a second. I think part of the problem is, and, 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 and you're not wrong for feeling this way. I think you're a young guy who got involved with an older woman and it was, it was a good thing for you for a while. But then when you went to college and you had your freedom, and I gotta say, you know, you're playing college football and, and going to college, and being a young man, that has to be a very exciting time in your life. And that must open, you know, a lot of doors and windows to see different things that you weren't exposed to while you were in high school, right? Mm. And I got to imagine a young, good-looking guy like yourself wants to enjoy the things that come with being in college. But if you don't want to be in this adult relationship, because I don't believe you're just hung up on that one question. I don't think anybody's going to let a relationship of two years and a, and a child and, and you love this little girl, be hung up on that. But what I don't think, Will, you can't have both. You can't have this family that's going to make you feel good and Willie's the family man and then go back to 
college and enjoy all that too because it's not fair to her and it's not fair to those little kids. But what I think you do can make a choice is I'm going to be a good father but I'm not going to be in this relationship anymore. Or I'm going to be faithful to you and I'm going to be in this relationship. But that's a choice you have to make. And either way you make it, as long as you're a good dad and you take care of your kids, then I don't think anybody would blame you for saying, hey, I'm, I'm young, I'm in college, I want my freedom. <laughs> so I, I think you really you have to make a decision. You serious, bro? Like, you seriously don't believe me? I've never once done anything to you, never cheated on you, never done anything to you. Are you seriously going to take that inconclusive as me cheating on you? All right, how long or me you doing you, something else? How long have you lied to me? Yeah, I lied to you, Will. If I was lying to you for six months, seven months, and then come back saying... You probably would have, but I looked at the phone Willie, records. Willie, Willie, remember what we just talked about? I think that's, forget about all the other things. Again, it's, it's not so much about her or what she did. Because you weren't completely honest and trustworthy. But again, I, and I told him, I think this is more of a case of Willie deciding what he wants. Does he want to be in this relationship where he's tied down, he's committed to you with two children? Or does he, well, he's got to be a father no matter what if you're going to be a stand-up guy. But I think he's a young guy going to college and wants to have fun. And, and before this, I asked him, like, he didn't have to be with me. Like, I told him before we even had my son. He didn't have to be with me. If he wants so you to go ask, out... You, you, I can ask him, but I think you should be. He's got he's to make a decision for you. He's with you, or he's going to go and live the single life on Like, campus. this stuff needs to stop. Like, if you can't stop accusing me every day, then just go. Like, we don't have to be together. That's fine. Raise your kid. Like, I know you want to freaking be out and doing your own thing. Go ahead. Go do it. We don't have to be together. You want to go be a pro, whatever, go be them. I don't care. Like, I'm tired of this to stop. Like, you need to stop accusing me. I didn't do anything with you. Do you want to be in a committed relationship, or do you want your freedom? I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah, I really want to be with her, so I can raise my son like I was raised. What do you What do you want to do? I want to be with her. So I can you want to be son. with her? Yeah, so I can. Can raise you be my faithful son. to her? Yes. So when you're playing college football and you walk off to the field after a big game and all those hotties are out there and they're like, Willie, Willie, she be right there with them. She's right there with them. Uh, yeah. Give her a hug, man. So you're picking her? Yeah, she always at my game. All right. And so is this what you want? You want to stay with him? Yeah, I do, but he just needs to stop. Well, start. please let us know. First of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow you because I want to follow what's happening with you. And I want to know if this stays together and if he truly stays by you or if he's not lured to all the candy on campus. <laughs> all right? Good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. Good luck to you. I hope it works out well for you. Hey, Willie, I'm Dan Rubikoff. I'm the polygraph examiner for the show. Yes, sir. So I want to explain to you guys about what inconclusive means in a polygraph. Inconclusive is neither pass nor fail. Inconclusive comes out when a person's reactions aren't consistent. Now remember, the human body is different, everybody's body is different. So to be fair in a polygraph, the person's results have to be very close to 100% being truthful, or very close to 100% being deceptive, before an examiner can call it truthful or deceptive. So in her reaction for that particular question, she comes up as inconclusive, meaning that I can't get her high enough towards one or the other to be able to call it fairly. So I hope that I've you know, helped to answer your questions with that. And, uh, you know, of course, you're a nice couple, and I wish you lots of good luck. Not really. I still think I cheated on him, but... 
Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Well, when I was on the birth certificate, I was drunk. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yeah. Now you took a DNA test. Adam, Ryan, you. Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Well, when I was on the birth certificate, I was drunk. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yeah. When Adam's ex, Heather, gave birth to a baby boy, he was there to hold the newborn as any father would. Now, eight months later, he denies the child and says her other ex, Ryan, is the father. Heather is devastated, and both men took a DNA test to find out the truth. Heather, you called the show. Yes. Uh, a very convoluted story here. Yes, it is. Um, you were with uh, Ryan, your boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Yes, we were together about nine months, and I mean, we had ups and downs like everybody else did. It's just, he was away constantly. He wasn't there for me. And I met Adam, and he was there for me. He gave me the compassion that I hadn't had. And I ended up sleeping out with him, and I thought it would be a one-time thing. And... One time turned into... Yeah, to more, and then Ryan finds out from his now girlfriend that I had cheated on him. So you're really not sure who the father of your child is? Adam is the father. There's you... no doubt that Adam is the father. What happened with Adam? I had found out two weeks that after me and Ryan decided to work things out, yeah, that I was pregnant. Got sick, went to the doctors. And I was pregnant. Ryan was so happy. He's like, oh, I'm the father. He was so happy. And then two months passed by. There's no way I could be the father. He don't, you know, it doesn't add up. And then he leaves me after two months being pregnant. So from two months on, I was by myself. Every sonogram, every doctor's appointment, by myself. And then I found out from a doctor's the conception date, and it turns out that the conception date was the time I was with Adam. So after time and time trying to find Adam to get to talk to him, I told him, look, you're the dad. No, 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 you got that wrong. It's not mine. No, no. So. So that wild, passionate love was already over. Yep. And why, why did that end? I don't know. You don't know. But you're not alone now. No. I'm married. Got married in May. No, April. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and, and you married a guy other than Ryan or Adam? Yes. Okay. Whose name is on the birth certificate? Adam. Adam. He signed he the came, birth certificate. He came. He put his name. He held him. And then what's the problem? What happened? He said... My son's started to change his looks. He didn't look like him no more. Oh, you got a cute little boy. <laughs> and, and how old is your little boy now? He's going to be eight months. He's going to be eight months. He's got, a, he's got a lot of hair for an eight-month-old. So you're married to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Ryan is now with another girl that you know, mm -hmm. right? She's actually my friend. She's your friend? Yeah. Who do you want to be the father of your Adam. child? You want Adam to be mm -hmm. the father. And what does your husband want? He wants Adam to either step up or sign his rights away. All right. So and he can no, adopt and him. And you're saying there's no chance Ryan could be the father. No chance. But there's Everything's a slight chance, right? Slight chance. Okay. Let's meet Adam. Just before. Here again, all you were is a booty call. Oh! I have no feelings for you. I don't want nothing to do with you. The kid's not mine. Don't look like me. You don't look like you? How can you sign the birth certificate? Because I was sneaking out while you were in the hospital and I was having sips of alcohol, so I wasn't in I was away. there awake, Adam. Yeah, I snuck out. Whenever I went out for a cigarette break, I was drinking on my cigarette break. So you're a deadbeat. If you want to call it that, the kid's not mine, though. You were with her, and you know she had a boyfriend, right? Yeah. And you slept with her? Yeah, she was a booty call. That's about all okay. I was. I was when, but... Yeah, which was bad. Well, when I was on the birth certificate, I was drunk. I was at the hospital, Adam, and you said that baby was yours. Could that boy possibly be yours? No. Were you having sex with her? Yeah. When 
Well, when I saw the birth certificate, I was drunk. I was at the hospital, Adam, and you said that baby was yours. Why did you put your name on the birth certificate? Because I wasn't thinking. I was under the influence. The whole, <laughs> the whole time? <laughs> well, when I saw the birth certificate, I was drunk, honestly, and I That's didn't really pay excuse, attention. That's Adam. I mean, you know what? That should be an offense, and they should lock you up for that. I mean, really. Because you're not thinking about that kid. That kid's going to have to wonder, well, why did my dad sign the birth certificate if he didn't think that I was his kid? He's going to wonder what's wrong with him. I pity for you. I felt sorry for you because you had nobody. That's no excuse, Adam. You have a brain, don't you? You know what? She always seems to have somebody. It's not like she has nobody. Right. She's a whore. Of course she's going to have somebody. I'm a whore? with you that makes me aware no well, one told you to sleep with me this is a woman that at one time you thought you had a child with you say you signed your name on a birth certificate now think about that you didn't sign your name to a car title you know to a, a lease you this is him. this is you signed your name on a certificate of a, of, of a human being saying you were the father and then you come out and go oh you beauty call and I was drunk <laughs> you know, I mean Uh, I mean, does, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you, listen, is this an act right now or is this really the way you feel? It's the way I feel. I'm just telling the truth. I'm here to get this over with. You're telling the truth, but you, you, you can do it without being so mean. <laughs> and, hold on, hold on. And it could have been so bad because you were pursuing her, you laid down with her, you had sex with her. The point is, it wasn't so bad at one time. All I was just a fling with her. Felt sorry for her. You felt sorry for her. Yeah, she had You felt nothing. so sorry, I'm going to take responsible for a child that I don't believe is mine. Yeah. Okay. Then, not only are you mean, you're stupid. <laughs> okay. Um, now, you took a DNA test, right? Yep. Do you know what DNA test is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question, and in all seriousness, I want you to answer it, okay? Yeah. Who is the Vice President of the United States? Obama. <laughs> Again, government's not my thing. You're close, very close. <laughs> All right, um, you took the test. What if this little boy is your, is your child? Sign my rights over. I don't want nothing to do with her. So, anymore. hold on. Um, you're the man that you're married to now. Whoever's child it is, whether it's Ryan or it's Adam, he wants them to sign over their rights so he could be the adopted father. Yep. So you're saying, even if this is your own flesh and blood, you don't want nothing to do with it? Yeah. What you're saying is like punching me in the stomach right now. Because I would, I can't imagine my, because I think about my son, my children, every time I do the show, and thinking like my little boy being like, I don't want you. Man, it, it, it just, it tears me apart, man. That you, this, we're not talking about a dog or a cat. This is... Uh, uh, see this little boy here? If he's your son, you really wouldn't want anything to do with him? Nope. Uh, you, you hearing that, what's your fear? I mean, it hurts me, and I'm not even involved in this story. It hurts me, because he's missing out. He has an amazing little boy. He's smart, funny, always smiling. You, you, if he is your little boy, I'm just saying this, and if you do this and you sign him over, you will miss out on a lifetime of just pure happiness that you gave your son away. And mm -hmm. it might be one of those things that you regret 
for the rest of your life. So be it. Uh, Ryan's here, uh, the other potential father. Um, you cheated on him with this guy, which, wow. <laughs> this, I, I better see the biggest slug in the world walking through that door. Uh, let's bring out Ryan. All you are is a liar, a cheater, a whore. Hold on. You were, you were dating her. Um, were you happy when you were dating her? Yes, I was. Um, when you found out that she had cheated on you, what was your reaction? Um, that I was going to beat his face in. OK. But that's over with now. You moved yep. on. You have a, a new girlfriend, right? Yeah. You like her? Yeah. Nice girl? Yeah. Now you know she had a little, uh, little boy. Yeah. Could that? boy possibly be yours? No. It can't? No. No chance in hell. Were you having sex with her? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Unprotected sex? We used condoms a couple times. A couple times. But yeah. sometimes you didn't. Yeah. And you understand biology, right? Yeah. OK. <laughs> so you know that there's a possibility, slim that it may be, that you could be the biological father of a yeah. child. Are you hoping that you're the father, or you're, you're no. hoping that you're not? Yeah. And if this test comes back and you are the father? I'm going to take care of it. You are going to take care of it. <laughs> you're raising this little boy now? Yes. And you don't care that she was with him or with him. You want the little boy. Yeah, I want him. You took a DNA test. Ryan. You're raising this little boy now? Yes. And you don't care that she was with him or with him. You want the little boy? Yeah, I want him. Now, she is currently married, and her husband is saying, whoever's the father, he wants them to sign over the rights. No. But you're saying if, you're, if this is your little boy, you're not signing rights away. No. You're going to take care of the little boy. Yeah. Good for you. Your girlfriend's name is Sarah. Let's bring Sarah out. You're lying. I was at the hospital, Adam, and you said that baby was yours. You bought Heather jewelry for having the baby, and now you're saying that you were drunk when you signed that birth certificate? Birth certificate. You're full of <laughs> And you, you can be a vindictive bitch and manipulative, and sometimes you, it feels to me like you're coming in between me and Ryan. Now, you guys are friends though, right? We, we have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Who do you think is the father? Adam. You think Adam's the father. <laughs> what, if, what if it is your boyfriend's? I don't know what will happen, because uh, that would be, be hard. I don't trust Heather and Ryan together. So, I'm married. I'm happily married. You might be happily married, but sometimes when do you, you say, think your remember boyfriend, when? Do you think your boyfriend would still sleep with her? I don't know. All right, let's meet your husband. What's your husband's name? Dave. Let's bring out Dave. Dave. For one, Adam, you can go to the hospital and go in drunk. They'll kick you right out. You know no, that. Goes, man. I'm just taking a guess. You're kind of wasting your time talking to this one. Um, oh, yeah. Step to the side. Yeah, why don't you stand by your wife? Um, you're raising this little boy now? Yes. And, and you don't care that she was with him or with him. You love her. This is your wife. You want the little boy. Yeah, I want him. I don't care if he was, she was with Ryan. I don't care if she yeah, was with that's, Adam. That's, that's, it's neither here nor there. But there's a little boy involved. And you're saying whoever the father is uh, biologically, you'd want them to sign over their rights so you could be <coughs> the adopted father. Yeah. Ryan has said if he's the father, he wants to take care of it. It's his son. He wouldn't give it up. Um, this knucklehead over here said, eh, you know, I don't want it. Give it away. You know, let me move on. Ryan, if you are the father, I would like to have you sign your rights away. I'll still let you see him. It ain't happening. Oh, OK. This is Adams. In a way, I'm kind of hoping he's the father. Not for the little boy's sake, but just for the sake that you would get him. 
You know what I mean? Like he's willing to say he'll sign it. Which would be good for you. Um, the DNA test for Adam. You're like sweating this out too. But in all truthfulness, if he's not the father, that doesn't automate make you the father. Because, you know, you were having a good time. <laughs> she didn't say no. <laughs> And I have to ask, why are you crying? <laughs> All right. Adam, you are not the father. Oh! Oh, I knew it. Before you waste any air or time on my stage, get the hell off my stage. I swear to God, I just heard, thank God. <laughs> it's like, whoo! He's like biting you. <laughs> <laughs> the youth of America. Okay, you took a DNA test. Are you the father, Ryan? You look really nervous. Ryan. Ryan. You are the father. Um. Your, your reaction to, I mean, do you have any other children? So this is your first child? Yeah. You, I, I, I'm assuming for the whole time this little boy's been alive, you did not know you were a father. Right. If he says, hey, you know, you guys are married now and he's with her, what do you say about him helping with the child? As long as you don't disappoint that little boy. Because I don't want to have to have him come into his life and him leave. The good thing is, you really do know who the father of that child is. You can go change that birth certificate and get Knucklehead's name off of it. Um, <laughs> now, what are you gonna do? I don't know. It's, it's a big thing, right? <coughs> does it really change anything that the two of you've been? Yeah, it, it does. does. It does change. And why? Because he has a child or because he has a child with her? With her? With her. But she's your friend. Like I said, a love-hate relationship. All right. A little more hate right now? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I just hope that you work it out. For the little boy, you got, you got a beautiful looking son. Can he go back and see his son? If he wants to. If he wants to. Do you want to go see your son? Yeah. Okay. Can we all go back? And there's going to be no fighting or anything, right? All right. Let's go see your son. my husband. I didn't schedule a paternity test for the past like five years. He's in question about three kids with his uh, ex-girlfriend. If this last child was his by this other woman, 
that would mean that he would have to been sleeping with her while he was with you. It doesn't add up. You don't even know me. I know of you. Yeah. Don't remember, know. she is pregnant. Okay, she better act like she pregnant. Girl. Three paternity tests. You scheduled three paternity tests. Three. Why is you in my business? This is between me and my baby daddy. I'm married to him. I don't I care. Don't. Why should I have to come to this show and get a DNA test? She think I'm jealous, baby. I have no reason to be jealous. I left him. Remember that. First of all, you telling all these lies. So you didn't call me last year and ask could you come home? I don't want your kids. <laughs> I know you're upset. This is this is it, what you're here for. You want the results of this, don't you? Yes. Okay, come on. In the case of your five-year-old son, Eugene is... Welcome to the show. My guest is Kendra, and Kendra, why are you here? I'm here today because um, I've been with my husband for the past six and a half, seven years. And, you know, he's in question about three kids with his uh, ex-girlfriend. So we are here today to find out basically me about the last one who's supposed to be five years old. I've been in doubt about, I didn't schedule a paternity test for the past, like, five years for her to come in, get the baby tested and everything. And it's like she always running. She'll run for two years, come back for the next two years, and, you know, want him to play father in a child life and everything. And it's like it caused a lot of confusion in my household and in my relationship because if this is your child, you're going to be in this child's life regardless. So that's And how basically. long have you been with your husband? I've been with him, we've been married for the past year and a half. I've been with him for the past six and a half, seven years. So if this last child was his by this other woman, that would mean that he would have to have been sleeping with her while Going he was with you. We was together. And that's why I'm like so in question about this child, why I really don't believe it's his. And I mean, if it was his, why would you keep him out of this child's life for six years? That's just did you my ever thing. come out and ask your husband, did you sleep with her during that time? Yes, I did. And for the time frame that we didn't sit down and talked about for the past years, it doesn't add up. It doesn't at all. It don't add up. Does he say the other two children could be his? He says they might be, but he's in doubt about them because during the time that he was with her, he said he caught her cheating around a lot. You know, his friends she was cheating with, he wondering why their relationship went sour. And, you know, it was just like a whole bunch of riffraff and the garbage that she was stirring up because she was sleeping with his friend. So his friends started to dislike him. Why would he keep staying with the woman that he says was sleeping around on him? See, I don't know. It was before me. So only thing that I'm worried about right now is the little boy who's supposed to be his that's supposed to be fine. Yeah, but it speaks to the character of the man that you're with, right? Yes. You're, you're pregnant now? Yes. So my thing is the possibility exists that he could be the father of two of the children, according to you, right? Yes. Wouldn't you want to say... How come he never found out? I mean, this was before you. How come he never found out if these are his kids? Before me, I don't know why he never found out. But that's, you're pregnant by him now. Yeah. This and is I a know. man that, what if, what if he ducks out of you and says, hey, you were cheating on me? You know, it's, it's not that he didn't want to be in the kid's life or he was, you know what I'm saying, denying the kids like that because he have an older daughter. And, you know, she done been in my life every and since she was three years old, four years old. But what about these these other three the children. other ones she runs with them she don't want to bring them around if she can't deal with him and she can't be with him she don't want him around the kids at the all the point is does does he get to see these these kids no not at all does he make any effort he tried plenty of times when only only time he have had a chance once to see him is when they was at his house you know now, it sounds like you're you're making excuses for him no, I don't, I mean, see, this is my whole thing. If I was making excuses, I wouldn't schedule three times for a paternity test yeah, to but be here's, done. But you, sh you shouldn't be, be the one well, that we, has to schedule. We. Okay, what I'm saying, though, is he's with this woman, she has babies. Isn't it upon her, him, to say, I need to know if these are my children? Yeah. Okay, yeah. If, if one's in question, why would you be, stay, that's what I'm, that's kind of the point I'm making. Why would you stay with the woman and then you're bringing more children in that are questionable and you don't know if they're yours or not? 
I mean, that's something that he'll have to tell you. I can't tell you that. But you never asked him? Yeah, I always ask him. I haven't asked him that ever since I found out about the last child. Uh, uh, and you've been with him for seven years? Yes. And this is, this is the man you're bringing children into the world. Don't you have a right to know what he was doing? What, how is he acting as a father? How is he not supporting his children? But every time he come around and he asks her, like, well, when you're going to bring the kids to the sea or to see me or whatever, it's always a problem or they get to arguing. You see so what I'm saying? So he's not really denying they're his kids. No, he's not. He never... It's just to the point where if you're going to run with your kids and you're going to tell me my kids don't need you, you got them calling another man father, another man daddy, then, of course, I mean, I'm going to be in doubt about it, too, if you got my kids calling another man daddy. You don't even know me. I know of you. Yeah. Don't Remember, know? she is pregnant. Okay, she better act like she's pregnant. Girl, first of all, you telling all these lies. So you didn't call me last year and ask could you come home? I don't want your kids. <laughs>
That's why she's so concerned about my son. She want that junior name, but baby, you ain't gonna get that because that's mine. Know that. She could just name her child the same name, right? Yeah, she could, but he ain't gonna be no junior. You can name a junior if you want to, but he still ain't gonna be a junior because he's still gonna be a junior. Okay. <laughs> Did you, if your last child is Eugene's, yeah. that would mean he was, he was with her, Kendra, and sleeping with you. I didn't even know nothing about this girl, period. So you're saying you were sleeping with him, but you thought he was just with you. Exactly. After I had my son, me and Ernie had got back together. I broke up with him because he was never going to change. I found out about her when he was sleeping. His phone was ringing. I stole the phone, being a woman, and called her. <laughs> and when I called her, she what you pick up my man phone for. This ain't your man, this I man. That is what I told her. This is how she know about me. She need to, they need to stop lying. Don't lie on me. So you found out that he was with her. What did you do? I left him alone. And that was it? No and more. that was it. And did you say, guess what, I'm pregnant by you? This was after I had my son. He knew I was pregnant. Like after me and him slept together, like three weeks later, I knew I was pregnant and I called him at his grandmother's house. He was staying at his grandmother's house at this time and I told him that I'm pregnant. He was happy. Does he have any other children you know of? Yes, he do. He got about, including mass, seven. <laughs> and one on the way. First of all, you telling all these lies. So you didn't call me last year and ask could you come home? I don't want your kids. <laughs> In the case of your five-year-old son, Does he question that these are his children? No, nah, he just stopped questioning about my kids a year and a half ago. And why a year and a half ago? Because he got with this girl. It's her. It's not him. Because he wouldn't even dare ask me for a DNA test. And he know that. <laughs> <laughs> why would he know that? Because he know how I am and I'm not the one to mess with. I don't take no bull, and I don't give it out. Is, is he a good dad? No. He don't even know how my seven-year-old daughter look. He only talked to my son twice a year, if that. He don't even conversate with my oldest daughter, and he know the situation that she in. No, he's a bad dad. When is he gonna take responsibility for his action? You don't have to be with me to take care of your kids, and I told him this. I don't wanna be with him. He tried to come back home last year. He called me on the phone and asked me. I took a lie detector and everything. I don't have nothing to lie about. How is it you're raising, uh, what's it like raising his three children? He has <sighs> nothing, he has nothing to do with them. It's hard, because I have to do everything on my own. I have to cook, clean. I don't even buy myself anything because I have four other kids to feed. My kids come before any man or any woman, and so should my kids be to him. You put your kids first and everybody else last. That's not right to my kids. Why should I have to come to this show and get a DNA test? Why? And you know these your kids. Don't do me like that. I don't deserve this. And you think he's doing it just to satisfy No, they, they doing it because she think I'm jealous, baby. I have no reason to be jealous. I left him. Remember that. <laughs> I have nothing to be jealous of. Let me ask you a question, and I want you to be honest. Yes. And I believe that you are an honest person. <laughs> Do you still love him? I'm going to always love my baby daddy because we got history. That was my first love. Mm. We got history. Do you ever see him now? Or? No, I don't see him. I can't conversate with him because the bastard ignorant. Every time he get on the phone with me, he want to cuss me out like I done did something wrong to him. And how do you feel about his current wife? She needs to mind her business. This don't have nothing to do with you. I done lay down with you, mind your business. But isn't it saying that she's married to the man now and that she's going to have a child with him? Doesn't she have the right to know if these yes, are... Yes, she have the right to know. But 
it's a certain way you do it. Why is you all up in my business? You lay back, fall back. That's all you got to do, fall back. Let him be the man and talk to me. Why I have to call and talk to you like I lay down with you? That's not right. Right. Is he like the father on the birth certificate? No, he's not on any of my kids' birth certificate. He was only there for my oldest daughter when I had her. My other, ch the seven-year-old, he was in jail. His on him out two days later. And for my third child, he wasn't there at all. Because he was with Kendra. Yeah. He need to stop playing why, games with why, that girl. Why didn't you put him on the birth certificate if you knew he was the father? I thought he had to be there to sign it. <laughs> Come on. Yes, honestly, I thought he had to be there to sign it. I didn't know that I could put his name on it. So does he know anything about your children? He don't know nothing. He don't know their c favorite color, what favorite subject they like, if my son like working on cars, if my daughter like playing with dogs. He don't know anything about them. And do you want him to be any part of your children's lives? Yes, I do. I had a father in my life. That's how I'm the person that I am. He installed things in me. And my son needs that father figure. He in a house full of nothing but women. Nothing. And I would love for him to be in their life. I never kept my kids away from them, from him. But if he hasn't been in his life and he, he, he verbally abuses you on the phone and, you know, just... Oh, not only that, he physically abused me too when we was together for them seven years. Yes. Well, why, why would you want this guy in your children's lives then? Because my kids need him and I need him to help me but with these kids. But, but you're saying he's a bad guy. Okay. He could turn that around. He have to for these kids. Your kids aren't exactly babies, though. Exactly. I mean, right. at what point, you know, do you say, he's just a bad guy and they're not babies and he's missed out on, sounds like your oldest daughter, most of her life. Yeah. When do I say it's enough? Today it's enough. Either you're going to step up to the plate or sign your rights away. And that's just how it's going to be. So Kendra keeps saying that she set up these DNA tests, right? To be honest with you, I ain't never heard her say that she set up a date for a paternity test. I would have went. I would have went just to prove her wrong, just to keep her out of my business. Now, before the show, you took a lie detector test, yes, right? Yes, I did. And, and he took a lie detector test, and he also took a DNA test. How are you going to feel if, say, he's not the father of any of your children? Oh, he's the father of them. I'm very confident in that. <laughs> First of all, you telling all these lies. So you didn't call me last year and ask could you come home? I don't want your kids. <laughs> what are you hoping for today? I hope he just step up to the plate and take care of his kids. I'm hoping that he changing. What's gonna what's what's gonna be different though after seven years though? What what's what's all of a sudden gonna make him all of a sudden have concern for his children if he hasn't had it all these years? He wanna be in my kids' life. And I know this. Only reason why he's not in my kids' life is because of that girl. And I know this. Cause you wanna try to keep on getting back with me if you don't want to be in my kid's life. And when he tries to get back with you, what do you say to him? No. <laughs> no. All right, let's bring him out. Here's Eugene. <clears throat> Hello, Steve. What's going on? How you doing, Eugene? <laughs> first of all, if I could talk to a real fast, first of all, you telling all these lies. We'll see I who lies. Okay, I'm saying, we here now. This is what we came for, right? Yes. I never tried this. No. Who got you to do this? Me, right? Yeah. How long have I been asking you for this DNA But what did you talk be about? Be real, I'm baby, lost now. Come on, be real. Now you want to lie? My ain't never saw us. That's part of the reason you bring them the kids to my house so we can get this established, right or wrong? I brought them because you wanted to test. see the kids. But first of all, we ain't even going to talk about that. Everything going to tell everything. But yeah, first of yeah. all, you know you're a snake. You know what you do. And you know what goes on. Oh. Look like a big jelly bean or mm -hmm. something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you love it, baby. And you love it. And oh, you love look, it. And then you tell me these people don't want to be with you. So you didn't call me last year and ask could you come home? Home well. You stay uh -huh. with your mama. Yeah, I stay with her now. Now. Right. Now, oh, but you man, didn't want to no come home. I no cause of you. See, you know what it is. 
I love my girl. Ain't no thoughts or no need for you. I don't and I'm happy about for you. How many times I have I feed told you, you that? Mm -hmm. well, you know, hold on a second. Though. She could be, mm -hmm. I mean, but she I'm could be my kid's mama. Uh, right. So why would you insult her like that? Because it ain't been nothing but, nothing but drama with this female. Still, you see what I'm saying? Drama aside, okay, I don't drama think aside, Okay, I'm not going to disrespect you no more. You telling these people, I tried to get with you last Simone, year. You know that Simone, don't happen. Can I ask you a favor? Why don't you leave the stage for a second? I'm right, going to talk thank to you. You know what I'm saying? Let me talk to this man. Well, First of all, are the three children yours? Like I say, I'm in doubt. I really can't believe it because the things I done went through and the things that this female do, man, it's just ridiculous. But the, the point, like I made to your wife, Kendra, same thing. If she was running around and cheating on you and, and th this baby comes along and you think that, oh, hey, you know, she's cheating on me, possibly could not be mine. Why would you put yourself in a position to be having another child with her? It's nice, bro. But see, how things happened so rapidly, it was to the point like she knew I wasn't trying to be with her, like she wasn't trying to be with me. At the time, she had a girlfriend and a boyfriend. So she was doing her, but at the same time, the things she do towards me is things like to get at me and make me hurt. Man, since I've been with this girl, I've been hurting so much to the point I never gained weight until I got with my woman. Everything going right now. So you're saying you were really in love with Simone? No. No, it wasn't like that. We was in love. I was young, man. This girl was way older than me. She was provoking me, doing a lot of things to me that just had me wide open. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know what to do. This woman was doing her thing. She's you know what I'm saying? two years older than you. Yeah, two years older, but she did a lot of things. She been around. <laughs> Be true, that tells you a lot about it. I don't know two nuts about her. All thing I know is she a nutcase. She done stabbed me, done stabbed my girlfriend. A nutcase girlfriend. that you possibly had three children with. Possibly, but it wasn't nothing like, you know what I'm saying, like we was in a relationship like that. She was doing her thing. Were well, we you, just you were sleeping with her, right? A couple of times, but it wasn't nothing a like I was sleeping with A couple of times, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. You said you, you couldn't gain weight, that you lost weight because you were so in love this with is this like, woman. See, there's a lot of things that went on in the beginning and to the end. See, the thing with me and her Khalid was I had just got out of being incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no woman, didn't know nobody. You know what I'm saying? I was just doing things. How many kids do you have? Basically, did I really know her uh, truthfully and feel in my heart? It's two, and it's one on the way. These other two kids, it's a maybe and a possibly. I really can't, I really can't, like I say, I really can't pinpoint it because, you know, all I done went through with her. One minute they mask when she, you know what I'm saying, when she ain't with her and girlfriend. And how many children possibly could be yours? These two right here? You said for sure these two, but how many possible kids? Man, ain't no more kids. This girl playing games. If it's the more kids, they'll call you and we'll be back. <laughs> Did you have sex with Simone while you were with Kendra? No, it wasn't even no thing like me having sex with her and I had a woman, because if I had a woman, I wouldn't even have sex with her. See what I'm saying? But you did have sex with her. I had sex, this was the beginning during the time before I met Kendra. So you never, ever had sex with Simone while you were with Kendra? No, sir. Nothing? Nothing. These children that she has, you ever do anything to try to be in their lives? Man, it's like this. Be, in the beginning, I always asked her for a paternity test because, like, I, like she said, I didn't like, ask you that. Are you trying to be in their lives? Yes or no? Yeah, I don't have no problem with it. I love the kids. I, sometime at night, I sit up and I think to myself, like, if these my kids, where do I start at? You know what I'm saying? And that's all I really want to do. Like, if this is a boy, this is my first boy. I supposed to be in there to cut the umbilical cord, the sign the birth certificate. I want everything. You know what I'm saying? I ain't getting none of that. Like she said, she knew where I stayed at. I've been staying with my grandma for the longest. Now I'm on my own. You know what I'm saying? It's been like this for about, what, four, five years? She could have been calling me up there. Did you try to get back with her last year? No, sir. My girl don't even give me enough space to even talk to her. This is, this is it, what you're here for. You want the results of this, don't you? Yeah. Okay, come on. In the case of your five-year-old son, <laughs> All right, we're gonna bring Kendra and Simone back out. Could you tell her to move over? She's blocking all my space. Wow. Sorry. It's a big cell phone so you took a lie detector test before the show, yes, right? Yes, sir. You also took a lie detector test before the show. And she was asked, did you and Eugene sleep together while he was dating Kendra? 
She answered, yes. Are you claiming that Eugene is the father of your three children out of jealousy? No. Did you and Eugene have sexual intercourse after the birth of your son? She answered, yes. Was she lying about any of those? Yes, sir. All of them or? Uh, maybe all of them. Maybe all of them? And the results of her lie detector test is that she's told the truth. The baby, I ain't got to lie about nothing. I can't give a man, baby. It's still another one. It's still another one. It's still another one. still another one? It's still another one. You're right. Still There's another, another one. one. But no reaction to her passing the test? Not for her. Hey, it's all right. Because you got to deal with no him. Love. Not me. I ain't no love, baby. <laughs> still going to deal with him after the paternity. We good. Season. And I'm happy for Thank you. Thank you. Because I don't want it. Thank all right. you. Well, here's the results of Eugene's. Do you have more than five children that you know about? You answered no. Did you have se sex with Simone at any time during your relationship with Kendra? You answered no. Did you try to get back with Simone within the last year? You answered no. And the results of Eugene's lie detector test is that opposite of hers. You did not tell the truth. Thank you. On what, all the questions? All the questions. <laughs> Thank you. No, bad bad. Come, we not worried about that. We no, I am worried That's about it. We okay, we here for the results. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you're, you're lying. <laughs> That's why. We're here for the yeah, results. You lie. know that. Yes, it doesn't, it doesn't, man. Does it bother yeah. you at all? It, it do. Yeah, she it, 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 it does. It does. It does. Cuss my bad, but I'm like, has all my... Half all man's well, wrong, you, though, man. Did you ever? But I'm probably nervous or something. But yeah, come on, keep it real, that. man. You was she nervous? nervous? I was nervous hold shaking. on, hold oh, on, man. Was she nervous? Yes, I was. I was nervous. Man, I don't know what this big yeah. woman do. Mm-hmm. Big and you know. Okay, we on the next thing. I don't love you. I don't she even does. like you. Uh huh. You, you don't call You're fighting in front of her, no baby. Okay. Do I How about the fact that he doesn't pass? About just a simple one. What's the simple one? Maybe, maybe you know the five children, whatever. Did you try to get back with Simone? Who knows? Maybe had a couple of drinks. Yes. Called, mm. but sex with her. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for the paternity test results. Okay, like well, I let's said get to for it. the last little boy. I know that's right. Yeah. 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 She wasn't like I'll be in their life anyway. I don't want your kids. You don't want my kids. Don't you want you <laughs> hey, listen, I know you're upset. I know you're upset. He's saying he doesn't want your kids, but this is this is it, what you're here for. It's an old DNA test, all right? You can't be fighting out there, all right? Come out, control yourself, all right? You want the results of this, don't you? Right? Yes. Okay, come on. <laughs> come on. Wait right here. But here's the deal here. It's not just about her and you or you. There's three children here okay, involved. Well, we okay, for, that's what we're here for. We're gonna go back out. There's gonna be no craziness. You're gonna stand, listen, you're gonna stand on one side of the stage, she's gonna stand on the other. And we'll find out if these are it's your three children. Right here, man. I don't want to go back out there. I'm humiliated, it's just man. You. You're humiliated. That's why he didn't want to come. That's why, he, that's why he sells you before. You see what I'm saying? It ain't I'm like he ain't trying to be in their life. It's her. This is she is. Didn't I say that? Okay, let's Listen, see. You, that's let's go out and find the results I'm of the test. I'm going to go back out. She might swing again and I'm going to Okay, I'll go out and hit the results let for you. Let mama go I'll go, go out and hit the results. You're going to let your pregnant wife go out by yeah, herself. I'll go out there and hit. That's the 
knock it off. Knock it off. My bad. Yeah, my girl right here. She ain't finna do no snake. And look at my Please. beautiful kids. Oh, yes, ma'am. You know what? I uh, can yeah. I suggest everybody on stage here act like you might be a parent? All right, we good. <laughs> In the case of your 10-year-old daughter, Eugene is the father. I know that. The results of your 7-year-old daughter is that Eugene is the father. So two out of three so far. All of them is. Every last one of them. I mean, Get to the point now. She passed the whole lie detector test. He fails it all. First two DNA results come back. He's the father. If this one comes back, then we know the lie detector results are right. They right. Because there ain't, right, no, I understand there ain't no what way you're, you're saying, having a though, baby sir. without having Look, sex sir, with her. I understand what you're saying, though, sir. But you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of questions y'all asked me on that lie detector test, I was truthfully being a man. Whereas I could put my life on it, you know what I'm saying? I could fall dead right now. I was thinking about everything. Cause he gonna it fall ain't no for falling. Life. You know what I'm saying? Just because of the uh, if they do come back. But you can't lie in the DNA test. Okay, that's the DNA test. But far as me trying to mess around with her, man, I swear to God, she know that ain't right. She know I ain't on so none of that. So before I read them. Go ahead. It's, it's you. I Let's get them. it over with. Uh, before I read them, are you the father? I don't believe it. I want to know. That's why we can't, That's why we here. I don't well, know. Well, you say you haven't had sex with her since you've been with Kendra. The last little boy. This we talking Man, about I had sex things. with her before. You know what I'm saying? But it, okay, I don't. I don't, I don't results. believe it. It's still relationship. Still gonna be the same. I don't care. Even even if he cheats and. I mean, it's, I it's cheat, gonna be so. things to be talked about. Yeah. In the case of your five-year-old son. case of your five-year-old son, Eugene is the father. Thank you. That's up. I'm gonna get my shoes. That's up. Thank you. Pick up your face, baby. <laughs> it ain't no pick up no face. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, it's gone. It's over with. So it just saying? blew so me, though. It just blew me. All this time, that's the reason why I'm in the now with yeah, you, I though. Believe in but just a little KK. boy, B, you know, I would have been there and they like, you, it's done. It's oh a wrap. God. See, I already it's knew been a wrap. I'm going to talk to him right here because I know how I am. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. But I mean, come on, man. This baby man, I didn't know, KK. Okay. That's why I'm How the you ain't knowing when she was calling the phone during that time man, thing? Man, I want around. We, we were in the band. We were in the truck. What are you tripping on me? We were more than one. Stop talking to me. Don't oh talk to me. I'm ready to go. It's just messed Here, up. Here, here's, here's the deal. If you see a guy, you're involved with him, and I know this has got to hurt, but if you see he's, it's questionable whether he's the father and he's not taking responsibility, he's not involved in the kid's life, I he's not finding out. No, you haven't. These are three of your oh, children. Man, You're up, on the show. Man. You've been denying it. You are the father of the three children. Okay, but I've been trying to find and out And you myself, see how the way he's, he's acting and everything else? This has got to be, it's got to be a little scary for you. I know who my baby father is. No, I know. I'm not, I'm not hey, about listen, that. I'm not but it's just, let's say Eugene it's, is. It's, 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 it's making me mad for the simple fact. During the time when all this could have been avoided, you see what I'm saying? It's on her behalf, too, what been here because when I was scheduling these paternity tests, instead of you running here now trying to but get Kendra, you, you could have came. But here's the I'm not mad you know at what? the kids, I'm mad at the two stupidity parents. The parents stupid. Because therefore, if y'all wasn't, when it was time and the baby was little, you would have run and stepped up to the plate and said, if he not want to be with me, then I don't want to deal with him. No, it's not that. It's about the kids, and I always been for the kids. I stood by you. Oh, look, G. It's wrong. I ain't never try to get That's this That's why your people this don't look problem. at me like I'm but up I'm because saying, you got ain't, it. Ain't this the reason why I'm here? Because I made this happen, look. baby. No, you didn't make it. Yeah, you did make it happen. I was on top of all the one you that was on the But you was nervous still at the same time. I you didn't know, know too. KK. You I know you I did, and she got pregnant when you got out of jail so with me and you was together. Only... 
Certificate. It wasn't no cause of me yeah. being there like that. She didn't try to make it happen like that, Kay. Yeah. I had my doubts too. I didn't understand. Yeah, you're right. I she didn't won. know, man. She won. How she could won you kill because me? You I didn't know. still slipped off and went. Like she said, when I called the phone that time when I was with them and I kept telling you this, over my grandma you was house, over there with her At and my she asked them, what did you tell me? But haven't I I'm been told. truthful with you? Man, truthful like what? I told you everything. What? Been that they wasn't with you. Sure. Truthful. How you I'm been saying, truthful? I'm it saying, I, sure. I hear what you're saying, but man, it's just like really well, like I this, man. So I didn't hard. know, Steve. If I knew, you know what I'm saying, about me not saying no birth certificate, never at the hospital about nothing. You don't nothing. have to sign a she birth certificate to know but look, if you're the But father. I'm saying, though, she didn't exclude me in in the beginning of all this. You know what you, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. It might be a valid argument after one child. Two children, three, three children. But you heard you can't say keep I'm saying, saying it. Me, you kept sleeping you. with the woman. You kept right, having right, children with saying. her. But you see what she said too. After the second child, it's a possibility that it is, and it's not. She did. She admitted okay, that. Okay, that's what gave she me She might all be the doubts, only child, man. But she's telling you the first, the third. I would never did him like that. I would never he did you like that doing that time. Now since I know I'm through with it, B. I'm through. You did me wrong, B. I stood back you to the end. I've been with you too long to find out that you got a fat your baby on me. You was doing what you was doing. You a snake. And maybe you should have asked other questions. Have you slept on me with anybody else? I'm done. Um. The most important thing right now is that child you're carrying. That's what you need to worry about. Whatever you decide to do with Eugene, you got to worry about the baby. And I can't do but you, you, you can't do nothing but a step what? You know what you got to do? You got to realize that those three children are yours. You better start being a father. Three. That's what you need. Three children. Right. And this one on the way. Four. Going so fast. Listen. <laughs> Good luck to you with this baby, okay? Thank you. Take care of that baby. The thing with Eugene, I know it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. But you got to think about the baby, okay? Good luck to you. You, you... You knew the truth. Yes, you I did. You told the truth. Yes, I did. And I know before you said you want him to be in your children's life. Mm -hmm. And you see the kind of guy that he's going around. He's having children. Mm -hmm. He's not committed. He let this drag on with you for 10 years, mm -hmm. seven years. Yes. And your youngest is two years. He's five. He's five years, mm -hmm. excuse me. And really hasn't stepped up to the plate. Knowing that you know the truth and you have the evidence and you could pursue him being a father in your children's life financially everything else you still want him to be a father in your children's life to be honest with you now since this incident and he say them is not his kids i want him to sign over his rights as a father i could take care of my own kids i don't need him at all 
They will still be my kids, aunties, and you know I love y'all to death. But him, that bastard could choke and die. And I mean that. You don't do my kids. They don't deserve this. They have nothing to do with my, nothing to do with this. And you doing this because you fun and you know you love me and you know you want to be with me. That's why he doing this. Stop it. And if he came running out here right now and said, take me back? I'd pick up this chair and bust him dead upside the seat. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. All right, come on. I am here to prove that my one-year-old son is mine. My ex slept with another man one time in the month that he was conceived. You took a DNA test before the show? Yes, I did. It's a 50-50 chance between me and him. I don't know which one of them is the father. Why did you put yourself in this situation anyways, where you're sleeping with him, then you start sleeping with him? You're making bad choices, and you know who pays for the bad choices? Your baby. Do you believe that you're the biological father to this child? Yes, I do. I know that's my boy. Serena, who did you want the father to be? I want my kid! <laughs> It's my son! You hit your daughter's boyfriend. Yes. When I met him, he lied about his age to my daughter and to me. I found out he was 27 and she was only 17. When you met him, how old did he tell you he was? He told me he was 25. You are buying my 17-year-old daughter beer so you can molest her! Marty, you were asked, did you lie to Hannah about your age when you first met her? And the results of his lie detector test is dead. Oh, my God! Welcome to the show. My first guest is Jeffrey. Jeffrey, why are you here? Steve, I am here to prove that my one-year-old son is mine. My ex slept with another man one time in the month that he was conceived, and then she had the guts to go and put his name on the birth certificate. Now, we were together for a year. Jaron was a plant baby. He, we were trying to have him for quite a while. Um, she ended up leaving and taking off with another man. This is the guy that got put on the birth certificate. When they got back, you know, Serena, she, she gave him to me. When he was about six weeks old, she just gave him to me. And for the next six months, Jaron lived with me. She spent maybe, you know, a day, a week, maybe every other week with him, you know. She's, she's a dancer, she works a lot, and she, she, you know, goes to work in the afternoon, wakes up late, so she didn't really Ballet show dancer a lot of time. Or... No, no, stripper. Stripper. Yes. This is your little boy? Yes, here. this is my boy. Now, how long had you been dating her? We had been together for a year. We were engaged. We you were, were engaged? actually, we were, we broke up a week before the wedding. We broke up right after she got pregnant. She had decided that she wasn't ready to settle down. You know, she was, she's younger than me. She hadn't had the time to get out and party, you know. So I can understand. I mean, you know. But I you're with her for it. about a year. Yeah. Just You guys are in love with each other. Yeah. And you say, Let's have a baby, and you're trying to have a baby. You believe this is your little boy. You want to find out. I, I know that's my boy. You know yeah, that's your my boy. boy. And you took a DNA test before the show? Yes, I did. How did you find out that she put another man's name on the birth certificate? Um, actually, it was the mutual friend who had uh, told me that he was born, had told me that she went ahead and put his name on the birth certificate. And when you hear that, how does that feel that there's another man on this birth certificate saying that he's the father? I don't even know how to describe it. I'm so, I'm so angry, but you know, I mean, I've tried to, I've, I've gone this long, I haven't done anything. I mean, I, I gotta think about my kid. I, I gotta put my feelings aside and think about my kid. So even though you know that she slept with this guy at Dernus around the same time, you feel this is your baby? You know, he's just like me. He's got my arms, my leg, you know, I mean... And he's... so you've been in the child's life. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, I raised him by myself for six months. And then after she took him, she, she gave him to family members and then took off. Does that give you any concern that a mother drops her, her child off for six, six months and doesn't have anything to do? Yeah, and that was one of the biggest problems we had, you know? I mean, I'm, I love my mom. I have a great relationship with my mom, and I want nothing more than for my son to have the same thing. And that was one of the biggest problems is that we would fight a lot about how little time she would spend with him. You know, she was supposed to be having him in her days off and she would blow him off for her boyfriend. Do you still love Serena? Oh, of course. I, she's my son's mom. I mean... Do you still love her? Do you, would, you, okay. would you take um, her back? I love her, but I'm not in love with her. And I don't, 
I don't think I could. And we've been together since then, you know. I mean, she's actually cheated on three boyfriends with me since then. It's not really good mother material now, is it? No, it's really not. <laughs> You know, and that's, that's my major concern, is the well-being of my child. She leaves him in the care of people that do not take care of him. So if this test comes back and you're not the father, how he's, are you going to feel? He's still my boy. He's still your son, no matter that's, what. That's my boy. Uh, and the other man that could possibly be the father, his name is Brian? Yeah. All right, let's bring Brian out. Yeah, How dare you put? He doesn't even. Don't touch. Don't even, dude. How dare you put your name on my son's? How dare well, you? You, know what? you slept with her one there. time. What's the chance? What's the chance? Yeah, like I couldn't. I could not be there. But obviously, you messed up that chance. You did. No, me and Serena had our own problems. That had nothing to do with me and you. I made a deal I with you when you and Serena first got together. I made a deal with you that you would not come between me and my son, and you agreed to that. I have no problem with you and Serena being together as long as you did not come between me and my son. And what did you then do? Why the threat? What did you do? Brian? Why did you threaten me? I don't know which one of them is the father. Do you believe that you're the biological father to this child? Yes, I do. I know that's my boy. Serena, who did you want the father to be? I want my kid. <laughs> It's my son! Acting this way right now in front of that little boy is not good for your little boy. When I met him, he lied about his age to my daughter and to me. He told me he was 25. You are buying my 17-year-old daughter beer so you can molest her! Do you feel you're the father of this child? Yes, I feel like I'm the father of this child. And of Jared. And it, and knowing that she had been sleeping with him is a possibility that he is the father? That's all right with me. I don't care. But you know what? Do you care I about the there. child? I was there. You were there. there. I was do you there. care about the child? Yes, I do. Do you feel like you're the father? Yes, because I was there for his, for when, while she was pregnant. I was there for his birth. I was there to pick the name. I was there. We already had the name picked Hold out. On. Hold on. Then why was she with Listen, me talk the to day me. that we Listen. picked it out? Listen. We are online. Come on. Listen, talk to me. This is a serious issue here because he feels he's the father, that he was sleeping with her. This was his girlfriend. She cheated on him with you. He's had the baby for long periods of time. This is a little boy who we're not really not sure who's the father. Put yourself in his place for a second. Obviously, do you have any feelings for this woman at all? Yes, I love her to death. You love her to death. Are you guys together? Yes, we are. Well, not technically right now, but we're going to try to make things work. What's not technically together? Either you're together or you're not together. No, we're not. And yeah, why, but she was well, sleeping whole, in my lap the whole plane trip here. She was what? Sleeping in my lap the whole plane trip here. Wow, dude. Wow. She had her head in your lap? <laughs> the whole plane ride here. All the way from Oregon. That's commitment. <laughs> So, what, what I've established with him, he's very emotional about this child. He, he loves Serena. He thought he was in this one-year relationship. He says they're trying to have a baby, that she, you know, she does get pregnant. The truth is, you did sleep with her. You could be the father. What are your feelings towards this, this boy? Do I love him like as much your... as I love Serena. And I would love you to feel be the like father. he's your son. Then why did you guys give him to me as soon as you came back? Hold on a second. We'll get because there. I had my own problems. I had my own life to take care of for a little bit. I asked for a little bit of well, time. Well, you know what? When you start bringing children into the world, you don't get to ask for a little bit of time. <laughs> what's what's the baby supposed to say? Yeah, go ahead, Dad. I'll you know come back. In a I few know months. he doesn't have much of a choice, but. For me to get my life why, settled. Well, to, why not get your so life settled can, before you start sleeping with strippers and having babies? <laughs> your dad, why is he called me dad? I mean, he calls listen, me dad too, listen. Dude. Here's what I'm saying, and I'm not saying this in a bad way. You seem like an immature guy. 
you're a young guy, and we all go through it. I was immature too. And, and definitely when I was your age, 23 years old, I was not ready to have children. And I made sure I didn't have any. So my thing is, you, you just sleep with people, and eh, maybe she gets pregnant. I, you were with her how long before she got pregnant? Off how many and times? On for about two years. But no serious relationship, right? Actually, well, when we were in Idaho, we did have a planned relationship. The, the we, point is, you know she was with this guy. You know yeah, she was I with him. Yeah, I knew she was with him. And it wasn't until the time that she left him is when we got together. Can you look at your little boy right there and say, that's my boy, I know he's from me? He is my son because I've been there. I've known everything about You haven't him. been there the whole time because he raised the child for six months at one period. He's only a year old. I had him for six months. Where have you been for the past five since then? I've been Who there. Who was there on his birthday? I was there too. No, I you was there. I was there on Monday. his birthday. I was there, I was there on Monday. His Do you birthday. believe that you're the biological father to this child? Yes. You do? I do. Is, do you feel there's any chance that he's the biological father? Honestly, I can't say anything because it's still 50-50 chance. It's a 50-50 chance between me and him. All right, I'm going to ask both of you to leave, and I'm going to talk to her. Let's bring out Serena. Hello. Hi. So I have these two young men on my stage. One, I mean, they both seem a little hurt. A little confused. Um, certainly, Jeffrey, very emotional about your son. Who, who do you believe is the father? I think it's Brian. And, why, and I want it to be Brian. And why do you think it's Brian? Because Jeff and I had split up for about maybe a week and a half before I got with Brian. And then I didn't know that I was pregnant until three months after I was pregnant. So the closest one to that would be Brian. Why Brian over Jeffrey? When Jeff and I were together, Jeff turned into an alcoholic, and then he started hurting me. I went to work one day and then came home, and he was supposed to be at his friend's house, and he actually was there completely plastered, and the house was trashed. And I'm like, what are you doing? You know. And finally, eventually, I said, okay, I can't do this anymore. You're drinking too much. I'm fed up with, with it, and I went to leave. And then he grabbed a hold of me and literally tossed me across my living room. Is this why you were pregnant, or? Yeah. I didn't know I was pregnant, but it happened, you know, in that time frame. I don't know if I was pregnant at that point in time or not. And how old are you? I'm 21. And did you think that, like, getting pregnant by either one of these guys was a good idea? My pregnancy was an accident. I was on expired birth control. I don't know which one of them is the father, so I give both of them visitation. Serena, who did you want the father to be? I want my kid! <laughs> It's my son! Acting this way right now in front of that little boy is not good for your little boy. He lied about his age to my daughter and to me. He told me he was 25. You are buying my 17-year-old daughter beer so you can molest her! He seems very emotional, uh, Jeffrey. He's always been an emotional person. He's a mom's boy. Were you having a good relationship with him? He says I you do. I do have. I do now. I mean, we're really good as friends. I do have a good relationship with him now. It wasn't as good as it is now. Now yeah. he says that you were actually trying to have a child, though. At one point in time, like six months into our relationship, we decided that yes, we would want to have a child. And then, you know, the further down we got. In our relationship, the worse he got. He got meaner, he got lazy, he lost his job, didn't try to get another job. But you were actually trying to have a baby with At Jeffrey. one point in time I was, and then, you know, as he got worse, I decided not to because that's not the kind of person I want to have in my kid's life, you know, somebody who doesn't work. Well, you were sleeping with both of these guys. And not pretty, at the same time I wasn't. It pretty was, close to each other. Close to the same time, yes, but not at the exact same time. Now... Is there any possibility another man could be no, the father's child? Only these two. Only these two. If you believe that Brian is the father, why did you give Jeffrey the baby for six months? I didn't give him the baby for six months. He had visitation every other weekend with the baby, and then Brian would come out and visit well, the baby. Well, why, why would... I don't know why he's saying that he no, had No, how did he get visitation? Because I don't know which one of them is the father, so I give both of them visitation at this point in time. 
They both get to see Jaron. Okay, if you didn't know who the baby's father is, why did you put his name on the birth certificate? Neither one of their names are on the birth certificate, actually. Oh, so neither nobody's no, name's on the birth No, nobody's name is on the birth certificate. Jaron has Brian's last name, but neither one of the names, their okay. names, are on the birth certificate. Why are you handing your baby, not even to Jeffrey, why aren't you as a mother there for your child every day? Six months? You hand Those baby two over? have me. What's that? Those two had me so stressed out between their bickering and fighting this whole entire time. They had me so stressed out, I was over my limit. And what I was going to do is I was going to get help from a counselor out of state where I didn't have to be near you either one of them. You had a baby and the two goofballs that you're dating, it was your decision. Yeah, I know, and, and I left and, and my you son bring the with baby my mom. Role and you just, six months, I need a break. Uh, here's my baby, take care no. of it for six months. I was so stressed out though that I couldn't like Stressed out from anything. what? Those two. That, they sit there that's and your decision. Her. You were sleeping with both of them. Yeah, I was. If you're that weak mentally, if you're that, you're going to fall to pieces over two guys? Why wouldn't you say, I'll keep the baby, I'll get rid of you two guys? I tried that. You make the bad choices, and you know who pays for the bad choices? Me. No, your baby. And my baby, yeah. I know that. You? Well, how are you? Because my son has to pay for it. I pay for it because my son has to pay for it. I felt like I was hurting my son and punishing my son for what they were doing in between the two of them and what Jeff had done to me. What did Jeff do to you? I have PTSD because Jeff abused me in our apartment. But this is a man that you were sleeping with. He abused me and I left him. As soon as it happened, I left him. He says that you slept in his lap on all the plane right here all I the way I fell asleep here. on his arm and apparently fell into his lap because I don't remember laying in his lap and falling asleep there. So you didn't feel too threatened that he was stalking you on the plane sitting right next they to They put him. us on the same plane. You couldn't say, hey, this, I'm to. scared of this guy. Well, I, I didn't move away. know they were putting us on the same plane. As far as I knew, we were all going to be on separate planes. Is there any decision that you can make and say, you know what, I'm going to do what's best for me or do what's best for my child? <laughs> Let's bring uh, the two possible fathers back out. Okay, now first of all, uh, where's the police report from that? Because I seem to remember everything going a little bit differently. You attacked me, and uh, because in defense, I told you I in was defense leaving? you were beating the hell no, out of me with your engagement I told you I was ring. leaving, I and I went to walk face. out the door, and you grabbed a hold of me and tossed no, me across no, no. the living room. I yeah. have the scars on my face oh. and my arms to okay. prove it. We yeah, were because the hell I'm all big, bad, and tough. <laughs> Actually, then you she must is be a pretty, pretty quick. But anyways, after she was beating the hell out of me for about five minutes, I grabbed her by the wrist and held him up against the wall. You know what? This is about a woman that is sleeping with two guys. We don't know who the father is. And this is about you having your son in your life. Sometimes he is, sometimes he isn't. We have a mother up here who, you know, she needs a break from her child, so she gives him to you. And then she's with this guy. Then you needed a break, and then you needed time out. I just love the fact that all these young people can have kids and, well, I, I need a break. I need a time out. You know, you're acting like children. All of you. Yes, I don't think you're a bad guy, but I think you're really emotional. And I don't know if you're in the right frame of mind to take care of a child. But I, I don't know right now if you're really capable of raising a child. Maybe you are. I could be wrong, but you just seem all Steve, over the place. I am an excellent you seem father. Hurt. I am an yeah, excellent you could father. Be. I'm, and I don't doubt one bit the love for your son from the way you talk about him. You, I'm terrified that you're the mother to anybody. I, I really am. <laughs> And just and, and, face and, and this, How did I lie? What did I lie about, Jeff? You know what? One word. And the way you treat each other, he could possibly be the father of your child. And this is how you talk to each other. How about the fact that he's so been well lying about me week. this whole freaking time he's been and out here? You know what? That's why it's time to grow up. Yeah. yeah. It's time to grow up.
time to grow up. Don't it's you time say to hold on. Grow up a be quiet. Bit. Be quiet. Serena, who did you want the father to be? Brian. Well, Jeff is the father. I told you. I told you. That's my boy. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? I want my kid! Calm down, It's my son! Acting this way right now in front of that little boy is not good for your little boy. When I met him, he lied about his age to my daughter and to me. How old did he tell you he was? He told me he was 25. You are buying my 17-year-old daughter beer so you can molest her! Marty, you were asked, did you lie to Hannah about your age when you first met her? And the results of his lie detector test is that... Oh, my God! And I've been fighting for so let's, long let's for this. Take, take, let's take the, let's go in the green room. Let's go in the green room. Where's my son? Hey, 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 hey. hey I hey. want my son. I listen, listen Serena. to me. Listen to me. What? Acting this way right now in front of that little boy is not good for your little boy. Think about and that. And you think he's full and is good for him? He's calmed down right now and he's holding his son. That's why I want my Kid. He's the father How of that child. That's his son like too. Man who beat me. You and say you, you beat him. You stay with him. You 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 I continue don't stay to be with, with him. You take no, his money. No, I wasn't with him. Yes. I have never been. I yeah. You know what? I let him see Jaron. And Did you ever you know, have him locked up? Giving... All these beings. You ever have him arrested and put in jail? You know what? The cops didn't take him to jail. Not my fault. Oh, so they didn't want to, right? They said, I don't oh, know no. why they didn't. I want to know what you're gonna do now. Are you going to start acting like a mother? The same thing I've been doing and taking care of my son since I've been back. Since yeah, you've been I made back. mistakes, okay? I know I made mistakes. At least I can admit it. I'm not the alcoholic out there. You're really something. Why? You just you're blaming everybody for everything except yourself. Yeah, but you I know what I did. You put yourself in position. You I were know sleeping what with I men. Did. You yeah, don't I know, know I who the father is. Right. I know what I did. You know what I'd like to and hear? And I know what I did I'd like was to wrong. say, you know what? I, I, I'm immature. I've made a lot of bad decisions. I am, maybe and I, I did, need, yeah. Maybe I need but help I grew to learn up. how to be a parent. You didn't grow up in the last oh, okay. few months. I could tell by just your behavior on stage. Yeah. I haven't seen a mature woman. Because he's out there lying about me? The point is, how about grow up right now and say, he's the father, I'm going to do everything I can to make a nice, happy, and healthy environment for my son. I tried. I'm trying to. Jeff and I were getting along until he started lying about me on stage. Well, we didn't he... have any problems and we were getting along. And I was letting him see Jaron. What would his point of being lying? He's still... I don't know, but he, he says, did. He says he still loves you. That's He's... nice. If he loved me, he wouldn't have beat me. <laughs> if you were so scared and he beat you, you would never have sat next to him on an airplane. That's the truth of it. Well, I'm not scared of him because he is a <laughs> but... So Jeff got to be with his son. He finds out, he got to be with him. I'm not gonna keep you from your son, but you gotta be calm down. You can't act crazy when you go in there. This is your little boy we're talking about. And what I'd like to do, honestly, I would like to offer you counseling, parenting classes, and do that for your little boy. You probably really need that. And I wanna do that for you. And I hope, for the sake of your son, that whatever else whatever help that I offer you, that you'll take it, okay? Yeah, I'll take it, but I want to see my son. Let's go. <laughs> Wanna to go to mommy? Wanna to go see your mommy? I'm rooting for you, okay? I want you to be a good mom. And honestly, you need help. You need, you need help. You need somebody to give you advice, maybe with men. 
You give me a call, and I'll talk to you, and I'll give you some advice, all right? Right now, I'm not worried about me. My Good. The See, most you know what? Thing in my life That's right the now. best thing you said since you've been here. That's the, this the only man that you should be concerned about right he now. He is the only man I'm concerned about right now. All right. Take the help that I'm going to offer you, okay? Good, buddy. All right, good luck to you, okay? Thank you. When I met him, he lied about his age to my daughter and to me. How old did he tell you he was? He told me he was 25. You are buying my 17-year-old daughter beer so you can molest her! Marty, you were asked, did you lie to Hannah about your age when you first met her? And the results of his lie detector test is that... Oh, my God! My guess is, Debbie, Debbie, you hate your daughter's boyfriend. Yes. And why is that? When I met him, he lied about her, about his age to my daughter and to me. Um, I found out he was 27 and she was only 17. Um, it was statutory rape. It's every definition of it that you can think of. He took advantage of her. He was the guy in the neighborhood buying kids beer. Um, you know, the parents hear this, but we don't know who the actual person is. We only hear about the guy that she's, you know, is her friend. Suddenly this friend became her boyfriend, and I find out when I met him, I said, I'm going to need to see some ID because I know you're not 21. And he's, oh, I left it in the truck, you know. And then um, Hannah, and then he left. He didn't come back. And Hannah told me that he was, you know, 25. And I said, I don't even think, I think he's older than that. Come to find out he was 27 years old. And I was going to. And gonna, your daughter was 17 at the time. Yes. Yeah, just turned. So um, I was going to have him arrested for statutory rape. And um, I was literally on my way out the door when she stopped me and said, um, well, Mom, I'm pregnant. And I said, what? And she said, we planned it. <laughs> I said, how do you plan a pregnancy? Why, why, why wasn't I involved in this plan? I'm, no, I'm raising you. And, um, I'm going to take it she's still in school at the time. She was still in high school, straight A student, basketball team. I mean. So then what happens? Well, we moved from, from where we were, and um, I thought, hopefully, this will get him out of her system a little bit because he, was, he, he cheated on her. She was home every night. She would be crying like. Tears of torture, if you ask me. It sounded like somebody was torturing her, and it was ripping my heart out. I'd, I'd go to his house and knock on his door and say, my daughter is over there crying her, her heart out because you were supposed to be there at, like, 10 o'clock, and you never showed up. You know, what are you doing? And he's like, well, she's acting like a child. And I'm like, well, Marty, you did go to bed with a child. You know, <laughs> she's not a woman just because you slept with her and got her pregnant. He didn't want to have anything to do with the pregnancy. He was never there. And how old is the baby now? Three months old. And he's obviously in her life now, right? Uh, he's the do-drop-in daddy, I call him. <laughs> Whenever he wants to just do-drop in. But when she had the baby, the day she was leaving the hospital, the day before she was leaving the hospital, Marty went home to get his paycheck. He said he was there for two days. Um, he watched the baby be born. The next day, he left to go get his paycheck. He never came back. So you're saying he's not a good father? No. She ran out of formula, and she told me we had just lost our store, and we didn't have any money, and she was supposed to get something from her grandmother, and it didn't come. And she just looked at me and said, um, I can't buy formula. And it was like the last resort to, to say, say that to me. And I was like, I was so mad. I picked up the phone, and I called Marty, and I said, Marty, my daughter doesn't have any formula for the baby. Can you send her, like, ten bucks? I have five. You know, that'll be enough. And he said, my check was short. I said, Marty, you went home to get your paycheck. You never came back. That was two weeks ago. You've been paid again since then. You have two short checks. You can't afford $10 for your child. Well, that's all I can say is my check was short. I said, well, all right. And that, that was. So he doesn't even provide formula for the baby. He doesn't provide anything for the baby. He might buy a diaper every now and, and again if he comes in to see her, you know, and he might hold the baby once. And I mean, it's like and nothing what, to him. What, so what do you want to happen today? I want her to see what he is. I want to be able to. Every time I try to confront him, I got her on my back, uh, and yelling you'd like at me. like your daughter to break up with him. Oh yes, oh okay. yes, definitely. I, I he wouldn't let her take. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Well, and his name is Marty. Yes. I'm gonna let you confront him. Let's bring Marty out. Mm -hmm. Marty. Well. First of all, for the record, mm -hmm. in regards to my check, and I already explained to you that, 
You didn't explain no, 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 no. anything I'm, I'm to talking. me. Okay. okay, no, no, Excuse I'm talking. Me, but this is my day, First not of all, yours. <laughs> for the record, what's your, what is the record? What's your excuse okay. for not feeding your child? First of all, you for the record, for that? your check was that well, short. Two them. checks in a row. Okay. First of all, for the record, okay, I take care of my obligations. I take care of my responsibility. Your got, baby's not your responsibility. Well, were you like, there like when I the was baby saying, was crying in the background, and I, I was on the phone saying, "Who I also take care of? Your other daughter. I pay daughter. child support on my other daughter. That's my responsibility and my obligation." So your At new baby time, isn't your responsibility. I was sick and I was out for a week. You my were not check sick. Was, <laughs> my check was only at the time two hundred dollars. I informed her as her daughter, who I was seeing, my situation. How, okay? Marty, how old are you? Thirty-eight. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? You're you are what? You are a child molester. That's what you are, you piece of crap. I thought you were 27 years old. Are you freaking all right? I have you live with yourself. You are buying my 17-year-old daughter beer so you can molest her. You take care of your responsibilities. You live at home. You don't pay any bills. You're a... First 38? Are you kidding me? This man should be in jail. First uh, of all, your daughter. Are you kidding me? My daughter is 17 years old. She doesn't have a right to make that decision. I'm her mother. Well, That's why they call it statutory rape. Your daughter was already on the streets buying beer, and you the you one that bought what? her some weed. Now are what? Are you kidding me? You bought her some weed Marty, so that she could calm down. Keep dreaming. So don't keep act dreaming. like you're a good mother, keep right? Because you're dreaming. not a good mother. I don't buy my daughter weed. You bought your daughter weed. I know my daughter was not on the street she buying beer. She had me take her to her daughter's friend's house nope. so that she could buy weed. She nice also try. asked me nice if try. I could drive her nice with try. her. Be nice real try. about it. Be nice real. Try. Be real. Marty. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my Be God. real about it. Hold on. Hold on one second. Don't act like you better get over yourself. You played two sides. You play a stage side. Listen, oh. listen, regardless if she's a bad mother or not, right? Let's say you're right. She's a bad mother. You're a 38-year-old man. Why are you buying beer for a 17-year-old? I wasn't buying beer for a 17-year-old. Uh -huh. I wasn't. And I did one time. Okay? One, one time. I did one time. How come the whole Regardless neighborhood didn't know she was the pervert that buys the kids beer? The I didn't know who the don't pervert know me was. As well, the listen, pervert, listen. Okay? Oh, yeah, why, they do. Why is a 38 year old man going buying any teenager alcohol? Well, see, that's, alcohol. that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I did. I'm not saying that I'm not responsible for my actions, because I just said I take res full responsibility for my actions. Where, where, when man. is What's that? What's the point? When though? is that that well, you take those responsibilities? People make mistakes in life, okay? <sighs> people make wrong choices. Mistakes? People make, and you know that. Mistakes. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna okay. uncover that. Okay. Marty, you cover People do you make want. mistakes, but I think most 38-year-old men don't sleep with 17-year-old girls and get them pregnant. I Why are you saying that? How old did he tell you he was? He told me he was 25. Marty, you were asked, did you lie to Hannah about your age when you first met her? And the results of his lie detector test is that. Did you lie about your age to this, uh, to her daughter? No. You no. always, you, we you met, told her, you told her I'm 38 years when old. When we met, there was nothing said like that. We just happened to meet at the time. Uh, yeah, I mean, but at some you... point people say, "How old are you?" Oh, I'm 45. How old are you? Yeah. But that wasn't said. So, you know, that was said later was on. Was it after you were sleeping with her? Before you were sleeping with her? Before. What are you having a relationship with a 17 year old for? We were just friends at the time. You, and, uh, but I'm not friends what with 17 year olds. What if a 38 year old have a friend? It well, could come made, with a 17 year old. I made a wrong choice in life. I'm not a perfect. A wrong choice. I made a wrong no, decision. No, a wrong choice okay. is. I made a wrong decision. No, I just that's a, a child. That's not. That, that's. Okay. That's despicable. What you're doing there. That's what I'm saying. I made you're a wrong you're choice. destroying a young girl's life. Now, not only you did be you on screw a sex her up, list. now she has a child with you. She's mm -hmm. always going to have to be some involvement with you. You ne you never let a child grow up. You never let her grow up and make her own decisions. You, you robbed her of that. And you know what you did, too? Your daughter, your daughter is going to see, for the rest of her life, your daughter is going to see the age difference between her mommy and daddy. Your daughter is going to think it's OK to date a 38-year-old when she's 17. Do you want that for your daughter, Marty, or do you even give a would be well taken care of. Your daughter is it well she, taken care of. When would that happen, Marty? You can't even buy her food. I want both of you to leave the stage. I want to talk to your daughter. Uh oh. Search both those doors, please. Oh. Um. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Don't. Marty, just before you leave, are you in, are you have a relationship with this young girl still? Uh, 
Yeah, we, we keep a good friendship for the baby. Do you ever cheat on her? Wow. I did in the beginning. And you haven't been cheating on her? No. Okay. Does she know that you cheated on her? Yeah. You told her? Yeah. OK, we'll get to that. Let's bring Hannah out. <laughs> how you doing, Hannah? And how old are you? 18. And you're seeing Marty now? I'm in the process of leaving him. In the process. And why are you in the process of leaving him? He's not good to me. He cheated on me when I was pregnant. I feel like he's still cheating on me now. When you met him, how old did he tell you he was? He told me he was 25. Then he slipped and said 26. And then later on, I found through someone else that he's 38. So he never told you he was no. 38? And when I confronted him about it, he denied it. And when you discovered he was 38, how did that make you feel? I, oh, I was shocked. I, that's disgusting to me. Like, before, I don't know, now it's like, it doesn't seem like he's 38. He's really immature. He looks young, you know. Did you love him? Yeah. Are you still in love with him now? Unfortunately. You called the show. You're here. He's here. What do you, what do you want to happen? I want to leave him. You want to leave him? <laughs> All right, let's be You think it's a joke or what? Hmm. You called the show because you wanted to have Marty take a lie detector test about whether he was cheating on you. And at this point, kind of hearing, does it, does it even really matter if he's cheating on you still or cheating on if you? If I know that he's cheating on me, it will be a lot easier to leave him. I mean, it will hurt more, but I need to know. What do you want to happen with this young girl? She's 18 years old, you're 38. I mean, now you have a baby with well, her. What do you want to happen? I want to be with her, of course. I do care for you, I do love you. I'm not perfect. I was born imperfect. I was born in this sinful world. Everybody was, no matter what. But I made a mistake. But if my apology's not good enough for you, then I don't know what to tell you. You know what, though? An apology doesn't yeah. erase away everything that you've done, though. It doesn't. Right. It, 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 it doesn't. It, it just, it takes... Apolo it, you know what, an apology doesn't erase the fact that you, you lied to her that, about your age. You didn't give her a fair chance to decide whether she wanted to be you based on who you truly are. Yeah, we all make mistakes, but we don't start sleeping with children. Before you got me pregnant, you told me, you're going to take care of me. I have nothing to worry about. I don't have to do nothing. You just wanted me to stay at home and take care of the baby. Did you not say that? Right. I okay, so how come now I'm stressing over every bill by myself? Anytime I ask you about it, oh, don't put all the pressure on me, but what about me? Can we share some of it? Can we share yeah, the pressure? We have to also communicate, and when you're not trying to communicate Marty, I tell you with all me, the time, and then anytime I say to, something, you say, don't worry about it. This what I'm talking about. You got to let me talk. We got to communicate. We got to establish the communication. Now, these, he took a lie detector test. Do you want me to read these? I do. Marty, you were asked, did you lie to Hannah about your age when you first met her? No. Did you have sex with more women than Hannah, than Hannah knows about? No. Are you currently having sex with another woman? No. And the results of his lie detector test is that... Marty, you were asked, did you lie to Hannah about your age when you first met her? Did you? No. Did you have sex with more women than Hannah, than Hannah knows about? No. Are you currently having sex with another woman? No. And the results of his lie detector test is that he's not telling the truth. I didn't have sex with more women. I'm always at work, and you know it. So you're still somebody. I'm not. I'm not. How would anybody expect anything to come out of your mouth to be the truth? I understand. I'm, I mean, I'm definitely you... through with you. Definitely. Don't listen to him, Hannah. It's okay, baby.
nothing but a rapist. You're a disgusting, despicable human being. Look at the smirk funny. on your face. You think it's funny? <laughs> you think it's funny you get over on a child? But I told you from the beginning, you I'm never got laughing. over on me. I'm not even laughing. You are laughing. You think it's funny. You keep trying. You're still sitting here. Oh, I love you, Hannah. What, you want to keep dating the child? Does I, that I, turn I, you on, I, Marty? I, I do love her. I, I do you don't love her. her. You don't love anybody else. Somebody else? How, how, you know, how you know? You don't know how I feel. You know what? I don't know how I, you feel. I, I, I hope her, I never and do. And I care for her. That's good. You this care for her? You let her. You let your child starve. Get the You better get Away don't, from don't her, and I mean me. it. Don't you ever. Don't, don't touch, touch me. me or what? Don't touch or me. Or what? What? Just What's your big, What's your big threat, Marty? What's your big threat? What's the threat? That's not a threat. What's the threat? You threaten me. Yeah. The last thing you really need to do is continue to be in her life and destroy it like you already have. I mean, she's got a chance. Maybe she can rebuild and go on and be a good mother. And I really don't think you should be in her life at all because it was all based on lies to begin with. You You're need to step team. up and, mm -hmm. and be financially responsible to that child. But the one good thing about this show is that we can do like a public service announcement. Yes, and that's good. Everybody that watches the show, take a good look at Marty. Child molester. Marty's a 38-year-old man that likes sleeping with young girls. <laughs> and if you're a young lady, or even a mature lady, do not get involved with this guy right here. Let's go. Yeah. children by 10 different women. Get your ass out of my chair. Stand up. Once you quit it, you can always go back for more because you got kids with them. And you possibly have three other children. This is how it is. This is the way I am. You are one of the most despicable people that I've ever ran across. One of the women you've had a child with this here and wants to confront you. Yeah, give me some money. See, there's such a big hot shot. Here's another. This next woman, she was a child, 17 when she got pregnant by you. I don't know what I was thinking. This next woman, you actually married. Oh, no, 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 no. And here's another. Exactly. We didn't have to date at and all. You got what? The American Nightmare. You're lucky that I have a TV show. Why? Because if I was a cop, I'd be kicking your ass down the street. My daughter is currently stripping. I've also been told that she has something else that she needs to tell me. You told our producers that you have sex with men every day for money. I mean, it ain't like y'all not having sex either. It's just like you pay for it. Is it worth more than your mother? No, I'm not talking to my mama. I already told y'all I'm not talking to my mama. We got Jason. I'll stand by next to and I'll do whatever I can, but you got to fight this fight with me. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Daniel. And Daniel, I'm told you have 11 children, 11 children, by 10 different women. Is yeah, that true? true? Yeah, it's true. And why is that? You know how it is, man. They know the score when you get into it with them, and uh, they're, there for it. they're there for it. Yeah, I tell them before I get into it, this is how I am. I move around, get up in there, and uh, quit it. And how old are you, Daniel? 35. 35. All right, so you're not 17. Nope. 35-year-old grown man, right? 35 grown man going out to get what I need to get. Going out and get cars, what you need to get. Cars, jewelry, everything. Is that what you need is cars and jewelry? Well, that's what you got to do to get get somewhere to look good. Yeah. Do any of your children live with you? Uh, I got, I see two of them all the time. Um, and the other two. So two out of 11 you see all the time. Yep. And then, but they don't live with you. Nope. You don't, you don't, I'm, daddy's going to come home every day to you, right? Nope. To none of them? No, no. None of them. 11? Not a one. You really, at 11, at, at 35 years old, you, I mean, I could, if you were 16 and talking like this, first of all, if you're going to talk like that, get your ass out of my chair. Stand up. <laughs> I'm not to insult you, Daniel, seriously. Oh, you ain't insulting nobody. I do and what I, I do. I'm saying, you're, you're talking about bringing children into the world, though. Yep. This isn't a game. You understand uh, I that. take care of most of my, the four children I see all the time. The other mothers don't let me see them, and they got all those uh, 
issues of can't can't keep me, so you know what? You can't see your children. That's fine. Oh, so so because they have issues with you, the children are gonna suffer. Oh no, I see them. If they want to bring them by, I'll see my kids. But and you take won't care send them kids. any money. What's the sense? The mother's taking care of them. The American nightmare. <laughs> what? You sitting up here talking like this. Why would any woman want to have a relationship with you? Why do they? They keep doing it. I don't know. Ask them. That's their problem. Well, let me, let me ask you. Take inventory of yourself. Tell me the good qualities of Daniel. I've got everything I need. I got a business. I got limos. I got... I got it all right now because Don't of this. Don't swear on my stage. Sorry, but that's what I got. Everyone, everything's given to me. So I have a business and I have limos. Yep. And, and I got children to take after me when they grow up. I'll you teach got them the children same way to take they, after you? I'm going to teach them the same way. I hope they all grow up to be players. So you don't, you, you don't care what these, if these women respect you or not? They respect the problem that's going on. If they obviously got something because they keep giving everything up. So you need these women to give you things to support yourself? Well, I've got my own business to do my own stuff. Why do stuff. you take anything from these women? It's easy come, easy go. Get, get, Why get. do you take if you don't I need? Can. I'm Dan. You're what? I'm Dan. One of the women you've had a child with this here and wants to confront you. Yeah, give me some money. See, there's such a big hot shot. Here's another. This next woman, she was a child, 17. When she got pregnant by you. I don't know what it was thinking. This next woman, you actually married. Oh, no, 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 no. Here's another. Exactly. We didn't have to date it at all. You know You're lucky that I have a TV show. Why? Because if I was a cop, I'd be kicking your ass down the street. <laughs>giving you money to appear on the show, right? No. You are who you are. Yep. You are a goofball, father and all these kids. That's, that's yeah. what you want to say, yeah. Yeah. You're a man to be admired. Are you with any of the mothers? No. Not with, you're not with any of them. No, I tried the marriage thing with one to make it right and do the right thing, it just didn't work. I honestly, I want, I, I want to know at 35, because you know, you get like, we, we just did a story when, you know, when you're 17, 18, 19, you're young and you're dumb and you make mistakes. And even me, at 35, I would say, at least I was a man and I knew my responsibilities. And I knew if I wasn't, if I wasn't gonna take care of children, I wasn't gonna bring any children into the world. <laughs> you don't give a damn about these kids? I care about my kids, it's not but, the women I'm with. Saying and doing, do you do anything to kids that you don't see? Uh, if the mothers don't have nothing to do with them, or don't bring them around, that ain't so my So you problem. don't know what's happening to those children. Your Not children. Until the mothers say something. Right? The mothers come you up and say something. But you yep. don't know, right? No, I don't. So if somebody was abusing your child, you're not there to defend them, right? I guess not. Not unless somebody comes forth and says something, huh? That's why you only have children, so you can be there for them. You, you have children with women that you're committed to. Well, I got four that I take care of all the time, so. Out of 11. Yep. Those so the other seven, Those the other seven, around. too bad for them, right? Well, too mothers, bad for if them. If mothers don't want to bring them around, that's their drama, not mine. What do you teach your children about women? Teach them straight out. It's they're there for the money, and that's it. Sex they're and money. there for the money. Sex and get money. what you got to get and get the hell out. Was that, was that what your mother was for, for the sex and the money? I wouldn't know my mother, so you it doesn't matter. Mom? Oh, maybe that's the problem. Could be, maybe, huh? So now you're going to take it on everybody else. Don't take mommy it on, wasn't, just do what I do. Mommy wasn't there for you. Probably not. Oh. Uh, Sucks to be her, huh? I don't know. Okay, then. But yeah. So when you meet these women, are, are you at least honest with them? That I tell them right out front, this is how it is, this is the way I am. And they go for it. And they still go at it. So every woman, from no woman so number one to woman number ten, you've always been honest up front. You know, no, hey, this is just the way it is. is. Gimme, 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 we might have a kid. Hey. Why don't you take any protection not to have children? Because I like having my children, and guess what? Every time you I like have having one, your children, you don't have seven of them. You don't, seven, you don't know I anything. Have, I got home team players that are gonna be coming up. That's all it's you know, if eleven is your children, none of them live with you. And so how do you take care of your children? I take care of the four that come around that are allowed to come around. Uh, and how do you take care of them? Money wise, love, care, and they come with me every time. Hey, my I'm in her psycho. 
Uh, you had nine DNA tests, right? Yes. So, came back, so, came so back women negative. have to take you to court to prove that you are the father. No, I ask them to take me to court. Do you they ask, need, yeah, need because, because I'm not going to give you money. So, you damn right. so I'm paying, so I'm paying for you to, I'm, I'm paying for you to have a DNA test. Actually, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. No, you're not. The state Mr. doesn't take care of my yeah. kids that I do have. Oh, the state doesn't. No. The state doesn't. Look at the statement out of your mouth. Oh, my the parents, state doesn't take care of them. They don't. Who's supposed to take care of them? Others are taking care of them. That beat that. You call it that all you want, but I pay my child support. You pay your child support yep. for two. That's all I got to have. That's all I got nailed for. And you possibly have three other children that you didn't get nailed on possibly. DNA tests, right? Possibly. So the number Alleged. could be 14. Alleged. Alleged. Yeah. Boy, you, yeah, I like that. You, you learned a little something. Alleged. <laughs> it ain't mine. Got it? You're lucky that I have a TV show. Why? Because if I was a cop, I'd be kicking your ass down the street. <laughs> It's like we meet people and we become friends with people, and then after we become friends you with people, you can call them whatever you want. When they give you money, they're Johns. Okay, you can call them bad then. I'm not. I'd love to set you straight. And not like, you know, I'm a badass. No, I just hate that there's all these kids in the world that their fathers are not taking care of them that you're not involved in your children's life. What I know is that there's uh, uh, seven other children out there that their father is not there to protect them. And you can't dispute that. <laughs> One of the women you've had a child with is here and wants to confront you. Her name's Courtney. Let's bring her out. to women. You have never done nothing. This is what I'm talking about. This Psycho. is what you're talking about. Look at me. Psycho. You quit it? You really? You quit it. This is why? You met your you son at 10 months old. I had to run into you Psycho. at Walmart. Psycho. At Walmart. Psycho. Why don't you just listen to her? No, I don't I'm psycho. Why? This is the mother of your child. This is the mother of your child. This is what I went through for, six, the months. Went Look through for six months. Look well, maybe at she's me. Off. Damn. Look at me. Please. Don't put your hand in my face. Quit it. Quit it, huh? Now quit it. You know you what? Shut up. Stop well, being a moron. Right with you are nothing. You never been nothing. You never, been nothing. You never will be nothing. Uh, I, I do it on my either. own. I don't need you. He doesn't need that you. Grandma. You know what? That's why your son calls another man daddy. Ooh, How about that? Maybe because he is. How about that? Maybe because he is. Go on. Be a man. He's a little boy. You're at this level. Yeah, be well, up here. So is the other little boy. Probably ain't mine either. Oh, the other little boy? Um, how old is your son? Do you even know his birthday? Do you even know his birthday? Nope. Nope, sure don't. It ain't mine. Hold on a second. It's yours. There ain't no blood tests on this yet. <sighs> you are sick. How dare you? Son, so hold on, hold on a second, Courtney. Your son's, your son's five years old. Yeah. Well, I know that. Five, you know that. Yeah. My other one's seven. I got. I know the ages. All and, my uh, kids. you've seen him three times. You've only seen him three times. And the yeah. last time was two years ago. That's being a good father? Uh, I don't want to deal with that all the time. But how about, how about if your son wants to deal with you? My son can deal with me anytime he but wants he, without his mother. Oh, really? That's all it's to it. Without That's all it's to the it. mother. Are you giving her any money? She don't ask for nothing. She goes to do her own little thing and then comes back and says, oh, I ain't got Oh, this. so the woman has to ask to, for you to, for your son she to have milk or a place to eat, she's got to ask for it. If she wants it, well, she can ask, ask for it. Ask him for some yeah, money. Yeah, could I get some money? Because I ain't got diapers for him. I never got them. I never got wipes well, for him. I never got nothing. Once in a while. He never. Courtney, ask Stop him for some money. Nothing. You never done nothing. Yeah, give me some money. See, you're such a big hot shot. Let me see all your money. You know what? But you're Mr. Versace. And you can take care of your kid on your own, man. Right. And your liberals, what liberals? The ones I just got rid of, you know that. Why, why don't you give her some money then? Because she, you said if they ask. You know what? Come here. Come I don't here. ever notice my kids. I can understand your frustration. Well, let's bring out, here's another. This next woman, she was a child, 17, when she got pregnant by you. 
Your son this is another sudden... child that has not been proven to be mine at all. Oh, okay. and I only we only met all these not, women. We met You're once. You're bragging about having we 14 once, children. We met once. Yeah, walked, yeah. And this girl turned around and said she was pregnant with my kid. Here's Jill. Because I left Let's her. bring out. What's up, dude? What's up? Long time. Long time to see, man. Yeah, what's up? Two years, dude. Yeah. Two years. You my know what? They do when he heard I was in Chicago, man. Hey, can my dad take me to Bay Beach? I'm glad That's what my story is. Because you know what? When you were all like, is, but no I'm one wants going what? for a blood test, do they? Ain't nobody. What? You're gonna sit up here, dude, and you're gonna try to tell me, right? Well, we had a couple days when you were a girl. <laughs> when I was a girl, big, you turned me into a dude. Not me. Really? That's your own thing. You want to be a manhole all the time, run around with all we these together? girls. How long were we together? Not at all. Uh, like no, we times? didn't date because we didn't have to date. Exactly. We didn't have to date at and all. You got, and you got what? You said you got pregnant with my kid. You know what? Till there's a blood test on all this other stuff, you need to take a chill pill because there's like three of you girls that say the same thing, but there ain't no damn blood test to prove it's mine. Okay, wait till we get home. There ain't no big deal with me. You know it as well as everybody else. And then what happens with what the blood test? Hey, when the blood test comes out saying it's mine, I'll take care of my shorties. Are you taking care of hers? On what word? She has to come over word? and say something. You know who's taking care of ours? Her mother. But yeah. it's your responsibility. Well, then why don't they come and ask for some help? She just didn't. Oh, you said no. TV, because do you think TV. she comes to the house and asks for anything? Well, why Not can't you give why thing. can't you give money now? She don't even come why out. Why can't here. you give money now? Let's see, because you guys got all my So we'll go back and we'll get it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, ain't you? Huh? You don't know do you? Y'all trying to get in some You got any money about. here? You got any money? You guys, I ain't you giving you You got your money? I ain't giving that to you, you. I don't want your money. I make my then own damn money. They ain't it either. My kids get my this, money. This, this kids get my money. You know what my kids no get blood. my money. There is no blood test or whatever. Watch your mouth. Watch your well, mouth. Ain't so you know Watch what? your mouth. Well, you know what? It ain't mine. Got it? You know what? There are kids, your kids, and you know they're your Those kids. Are not my and kids. you still are paid are... for them. Maybe not them, but the ones you know about, the ones that you got the blood test, for five and you're not paying. Sure. Yeah. And I do Seven take years, care. Yeah. You don't take care of all Seven of them. Seven years, oh, bro. I've been proven that it is. Seven Hold years on. is the same. Shut guy. up. No, I ain't sure. We're going to bring Brenda out. There you go. My wife. Yeah. Ex-wife. This next woman, you actually married, and you have two children, 11 yep. and 12 years old. Help support them. Took care well, of let's find out from Brenda. Yeah, let's let's find go. Out. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. Shut your mouth, man. <laughs> you don't, you know, you don't <laughs> tell me to shut my mouth. Do you understand me? <laughs> you don't tell me that. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. You know something? Oh. You're lucky that I have a TV show. Why? Because if I was a cop, I'd be kicking your ass down the street. Yeah. I'd be suing your ass for that. Yeah. For that money. You, got no you, you know what? You'll be lucky I don't be coming to Greek Bay and I run and into you. Know, you know, I don't know what you you're talking about. Oh, oh, you you now he turns his attention. I don't know what you're talking about. Where were, were you? Where were you for three Whatever. years of the Whatever. boy's life from what? zero this to is three and four? Where were you? Stop. 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 I'm doing Stop. this and Stop. doing this. Stop. Where were you? I took care of those babies for how long? This is the woman you married. Those are also the She's women lying. that went and did her She's own lying. thing. Well, I took care of the babies She's for three lying. years. You damn right. She no. said you never gave. You never gave me money. I never had the kids. I never had the kids. Ago, and you did not give it to me. I you told played you to it kiss off. And you did not. No, you did it. You said you're, you're one of your girls didn't give you money. When my girl for comes three to give years, money. where were you? I was there. Where? We split the kids up. Where were you? On Day Street and every place else. Where were you? Where were you? I was taking care of my boys. Where were you just a year ago? Taking care of my boys. Jail, baby. Well, yeah, well, maybe you ought to yeah, stay out of jail you know, so you can help being me. A punk. Yeah? What, the last two years, three years? Yeah, whatever. You know Thank what? Thank you. What? You know, two hold on, years, hold on, years. hold on. I had custody. You, stop. Guess stop. what? You didn't even stop. have custody. Stop. Whatever. Just be quiet. Oh. Be quiet. The only thing that I can accomplish here today, the only thing that I can accomplish here today is because he'll have an excuse for whatever reason Everything. I come up with to not give your child money, your children money, your children money. He'll have an excuse for every reason why not to take care of his own children. So the only thing that I can do with this show is the camera to zoom in on your face 
and this is shown not only in the United States but all around the world. Women, if you see this man, whoa, whoa. especially in Green whoa, Bay, whoa. Wisconsin, do not sleep with this man. Do not go to a park, a movie, a drugstore. Don't go anywhere with this guy because if you happen to sleep with this guy, this creep will never take care of your children. Get off my stage! Get off! You got it, baby. You're a bum! You're a bum! I've also been told that she has something else that she needs to tell me. They're my friends before I even have sex with them. When they give you money, they're John's. I got I got I, I got to ask you did he act this way when he met you? No. No. He was genuine. He was sweet. He was all romantic like a player. Mm -hmm. He never ever hurt like anything until Did he talk until like he became this? a manhole? Not at all. Never talk never like that. Never talk like this. Not until we did we split up. Then it was like that. All right. This we're going to bring uh this next woman. She dated Mr. Creep for 2 years. <laughs> she dated him 2 years ago. She has the youngest child from him, who is one year old, and this woman's name is Cheney. Let's bring her out. Come on, baby girl. How you doing, Cheney? Hi. You met Daniel. Yes. You liked him. Yeah, back then I did. And when you met, and I'm all serious, when you met him, what did you like about him? Oh, because he was, like, really sweet and stuff, saying, oh, I care for you. I will do anything for you. But then after a while, after, like, I heard a couple things about him, I kind of figured he was a player. Well, you know he had ten children with nine different women, right? Well, at first, when I first met him, I only knew he had two kids. Well, then why then did you decide to bring another child in the world with this guy? I don't know what I was thinking. I was... But see, you, see, as bad as he is, as, as goofy as he is, as a child he is, where's, I got a question, where's your thinking? If you know all this knowledge, why would you then bring a child into the world knowing that, look at, if here's just a small sampling of the suffering that this man has caused. And now he's caused you suffering too. But if you have that knowledge, like back in the day, she didn't have that knowledge. She didn't have that knowledge. She didn't have that knowledge. You had the knowledge. Why would you then say, yeah, okay, I'm going to be different than the other ten. All right. Well, back then I thought he would have changed, but, you know, that was, I don't know what I was thinking. Listen, I think he was sweet, and you fell for it, and you start dating, and things happen. But I also think that people are, are responsible, and even if they're dating and just they're not very committed yet, they take actions to make sure they don't have kids. What you got to do is forget Daniel. I mean, he's 35 years old, and at some point, you're just a creep. And you, you, you have to live with who you are. You know what? Raise your children. Be strong women. You can leave the stage now. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. The reason why I asked those women to leave is we have a woman backstage that is with Daniel now. Let's bring her out and let's talk to her. How are you doing? Have Hi. a seat. And what's your name? I'm Lisa. You see the man that you're dating standing yeah. on the stage saying the things that he says about women, about how he, what, he ex, what, what he thinks of women. What did you think of that? That's kind of a surprise to me because he comes off totally different. I don't know if it's because of the show. That's not an act, though, what he just did. Right, that's true. That's, that's somebody who's, who's what they think and who they are. So I, I got to ask you, why would you want to be around a man like that? I, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I have, I'm attracted to those people, unfortunately. I've made that mistake before. Um, I don't so know. You, I tried. So you made a mistake. You were attracted to the same kind of guy before. Yes. But I didn't realize how he was either until okay. towards the end. Okay, towards the end. Mm -hmm. But now you know, okay, you made a mistake, and we all do. Yes. I, to be honest, I don't really know. 
right now it's kind of a new thing. Just trying to see where it goes, even though I probably shouldn't. It's probably really stupid of me. You still want to continue to see where this goes? That's... Uh, no, you know what? Why would you want to spend one day with a man that does not respect women? Whether, I don't, you know what, and you, can, and you can say, oh, Steve, he treats me great, he doesn't act that way to me, but you see how he deals with the women of his past. He, the, the, the mother, the mothers of his children, you see how he treats them. This is, this is a man that you want, if you stay with him, say you don't even have a child, but you stay with this man, and you stay with him long enough, your daughter will be around this man. You would want your daughter to spend Two seconds with this goofball? I, I don't even know what to say to it, to be honest. I guess maybe, I'm, you know, sometimes you gotta learn the hard way and you think I would've learned by now, but. Here's your answer. If you're gonna continue to give him the benefit of the doubt, if you're gonna go back to the hotel room with him tonight, go out that door. If you're not gonna ever see him again, and you're gonna do what's best for you, and I can help you and do whatever I can for you, go out that way. And, th and you don't even have to say anything. You don't have to explain yourself. You just pick a door. Daniel's behind that door. Me and whatever I can do for you is out that door. And you don't have to say a word. Just go. The show is over. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I really don't. I'm not talking to my mama. I already told you I'm not talking to my mama. We got Jason on. Stand by next time. I'll do whatever I can, but you gotta fight this fight with me. Kim, why are you here today? Hi. Um, I'm here today because uh, my daughter is currently stripping, um, but sh she's chosen this career to go in. I'm wanting her to go and find her potential and do something else. And I also been told that she has something else that she needs to tell me. I don't know what that possibly could be, but I want, I'm trying to see if I can get you to talk to her or help her. Um, and what's your daughter's name? Tatiana. Tatiana. And how old is your daughter? She She's 19. She's 19. Yes. So she graduated high school? Yes. And you're saying she got like good grades all the way oh, through? Oh, yes. What do you but think the news is? I have no idea because if it's worse than stripping, I'm just nervous about it. And I'm sure as a mother you have high aspirations for her. What if she's just saying, I'm 19, I'm young, I'm just having fun. I'm just having fun with this well, and I'm making some money. You can have fun. There's, there, she loves to dance. That's, that's what I know she defends. So she always say, I love to dance. Well, you can dance. There's positive dances she can do. You don't have to be a stripper to dance. If you still want to have fun, go to the club, and she can, but she doesn't have to strip. It, she don't have to do it because, you know, most ladies, like you're saying, say they need it for the money or this and that, but she don't need it for the money. Why doesn't she need it for the money? Because she, can, she always has me. She can stay with you? Yes. What are you afraid of? She can get hurt. Um, she can get diseases. Because, uh, in well, that, enough, she's just stripping. Well, stripping, yes, but you I mean, met unless, enough you know, people. I don't know. I mean, I've never been on a pole, but. You have met enough people that it start off as stripping. Most of all girls, they start off as strippers. But eventually it goes on to something else. And that's what I'm afraid of. Sometimes, I mean, a lot of times, are you, are you, I think you're going into saying, like, prostitution. Yes. I, you know, to, to be my experience is it starts out with drugs. And then it ends up in, in prostitution. Well, that, that's one of my points, too. Stripping, a lot of ladies don't have them. They don't do it just for... I know. I'm listen, you know... <laughs> they use drugs to strip. And I was told before I came to the show that she do. That she does drugs? Yes. And, and what, what kind of drugs did somebody tell you she was doing? I don't know. I, I can see that you're a mother that's very concerned about your daughter. I mean, she's an adult now, but I mean, you're still, you're still very concerned about her. Yes. Have you ever confronted your daughter? Have you ever asked her, are you doing this? Yes, I've tried to talk to her, and it's gotten to the point where she won't even 
talk to me anymore. So when you say call me, she won't call you back? <laughs> no. Because you've confronted her on what are yes. you doing? Yes, I've confronted her so many times. I Has she, she told you that she was stripping? Yes, she did tell me that. When was the last time you saw your daughter? Uh, it's been probably two months. And w when was the last time you talked to her? It's about the same time. If I can help you in any way, what, what would you want to happen today? Well, she's already signed up for the Army, and she was supposed to leave um, probably a month ago, and she can do that. The one of the reasons she hadn't been able to leave for the Army, she hadn't been paid, able to pass a drug test. I honestly don't know what it is, because I haven't met your daughter. I'm mm -hmm. going to bring her out and talk to her for the first time. Um, all I can say is I see a mother that has emotion and cares about her daughter, and that's who I want to help, people that care about their own kids. So yeah. I'll be more than happy to help you. All right, I'm going to ask you to do the stage, and then I'll bring her out. Okay. Right, right through there. All right, here's Kim's daughter, Tadriana. How you doing? Hi. Can I have a seat? How you doing today? Good. You gotta be surprised you're on my show. A um, little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Your mom comes on. She has concerns about you. What kind of concerns? Well, she comes on there and says that you know you're stripping. Mm-hmm. Which I said on itself. You know, a lot of young women do it to support their families or mm -hmm. support themselves. And if it ends there, then you know that's what people choose to do. But. As a parent, that's a, if you have a daughter, would you hope for her to become a stripper? No, I wouldn't want her to become a stripper. And why not? Because it's not a good job, but it's what pays the rent, and it's what gets me what I need. So. Yeah, but you're, you're a smart girl. You did, you did very well in school, right? Yeah. What was your grade point average? 3.67. Uh, about three times as high as mine. <laughs> So my thing is with that, wouldn't you say, like, you know, d didn't you have, when you were going through high school, what did you say? Like, every high school kid has dreams of becoming something, right? Mm hmm What was your dream? To go run track in school. To do what? Go run track. Run track? Mm hmm Okay. Did you run track? Yeah, during high school, but after that, I wanted to go dance, so I went to go dance. I like the money better. Yeah, but I mean, you're taking your clothes off of these men. Do they treat you good? I mean, the money's good. I didn't you ask really, you that. I mean, they treat you good. Uh, you're pretty, you know, I got, I'm looking at you. You're a pretty good looking woman. I'm sure the money is good. But how long, you know, you don't want anything more than some guy yeah, giving you money? I'm not going to do this for like a career or something, but I'm doing it like for right now to take care of myself. Yeah. So I like it. I'm going to keep doing it right now. And so it's just stripping. I mean, sometimes you get propositions, and I'm not going to say I never took it. Propositions, propositions. for what? Um, I met somebody at the club who offered to pay my rent for three months if I become his friend, so. And friend means? Take care of his needs, and he take care of mine. Well, he's taking care of your needs by paying your rent for three months, right? Mm -hmm. And what was his needs? Um, sex. And you're okay with that? I mean, it's not just like that. It's not... Well, it is just like that. I mean, we're like friends, and they just give me money. I mean, I don't have sex with if people all the time. If you take money for sex, you're a whore. No, I don't take money for sex. They give me money, and then they can call me, like, two, three weeks later and be like, okay, I want to come over. I'll be like, oh, okay. I mean, come on. Who, who believes that? It's a, it's a lot of people that do that. See, the thing is, you know, you told our producers that you have sex with men every day for money and that you take them back to your apartment. I don't say I take them back to my apartment. I started dancing, and after I started dancing, one time, like, the club was getting slow. So me and my homegirl had came up with an idea, and we just started making money. What if you get arrested someday and you get caught taking this money? No, Nobody ever thinks they're saying. ever going to get caught. I don't ever put myself in a position you like that. You take men though. home every day and you have sex no, with them. No, it's not like that. It's like we meet people and we become friends with people. And then after we become friends you with people, You can call them whatever you want. When they give you money, they're Johns. Okay, you can call them bad dude. I'm not. Girl. You know what? You know what? Most policemen do. 
That's what policemen right. call them that. And when they're slapping the cuffs on, that's what they're going to be saying to you. Nobody ever thinks they're going to get caught. I'm not saying I'm not going to get caught. It's nothing like that. But I don't do anything like you're trying to make it say like I do. I had a boyfriend, so. Oh, like, so that's why you didn't bring him home every day. I have, like, one good friend who will take care of me. So after him, I okay, get another good friend. And after that good friend, I get another good friend. But it's not like you just get everybody every day because I don't need money like that. One dude will give you about eight, $900 one day. You only need that for, what, the whole two, three days? So you don't got to have sex every day. Jeez. What are your bills? I mean, it ain't like y'all not having sex either. It's just I get paid for it. You know what? Here's here's your last chance. This is here here it is, Mom. She wants to keep spinning it like it's like you know she's living in fantasy world. Family Stop right smoking right. marijuana. Stop sleeping with guys for money. Get your ass out of strip club. Go to college. Do something with your life. Simple as that. Come on, Mom. Is it, that good. is it worth more than your mother? No. Is it, is it worth making your mom cry on stage? No. Your mother that's taking care of you every day of your life, that wants nothing but the best for you, and see your own mother that calls me for help, and she's sitting here crying. And my mama didn't have nothing to do with this. Does your mama care about you? Yeah, my mama care about me. Every mama gonna care about their daughter. Oh, no. Mostly every Watch mama. my show, and you'll see mothers that well, don't give a damn about, about that. Me, so. You're right. That's right, but and that's that why I'm hoping. That doesn't mean anything. No. It means everything. You're crying. What's so upsetting? Because I just don't want to put my mama in this. Well, you did. She's here. She was on my stage crying. Did you see her crying? No, I didn't see her crying, but I know she was because I know my mama cared about me. But they that's don't right. see her. And you know what? Your mother doesn't want you sleeping with men for money. At 19, you don't know that it's, you know, you're sliding down a slippery slope? I mean, y'all say that, but I have... You know why we say that? Because I mean, it's the truth. you can say what you want, though. You're smart. You're attractive. You could be so much more, and this is what you settle for. I'm not saying I'm settling for this. You are settling for this. I have fun this. every day. I'm never stressed. Hey, you I'm know what? Sad. I have fun every I'm day, too. Every day. I come and I do my show, and okay. I try to help people. Okay. And what are well, you doing? Well, me and you two different people. You got options, and I got options. Those are my options. You know options, what? We are two different people. You know why? Do. Because I won't sell my soul. And that's what you're doing. How are you? No, no, no stress involved with this, right? No. No stress at all. I already know what you finna say. Why do I carry weapons and stuff if it's, if it's no well, how did you, stuff? Are you? I don't be stressy. I don't be stressing. That has nothing to do with that. You still got to protect yourself. For, what, I you mean, because it is crazy what, people what, out there. Well, th right. And, and here I'm a former police officer. I've locked up thousands of guys. I don't carry a weapon. Okay. Congratulations for you. But I'm a female, and I know men overpower women. And Especially, so just, like, maybe strange men, and they get you alone in a room. No, I don't get in long, get in, like... Because nah. you got the boyfriend that you can't go home to. So you go somewhere else with them. No, I don't go out like that. You're trying to make it seem like... Well, I you tell like, me exactly you're how... You're trying to make hey. it seem like I go and meet a dude and go to a room with a dude. That ain't even how it you goes. Done, you tell me how it goes. Tell okay, me how it goes. Okay, like, if I go to work... I want to hear one of it. my homeboys that I met from somewhere else is talking about something, me and my homegirl be like, oh, okay, you want to go chill with us. We don't necessarily have sex. We chill. Oh, this, but they just give you money? <laughs> yeah, people do just give oh, you money. Oh, they just give you money? Yes, they do just give you money. Because why? Because you're so great? I mean, I'm not going to say because I'm so great. I'm not going to say because I'm pretty. I'm not going to say that. But dudes do just give you money. And I'm not talking about no chump change like $20, $30, $40 for They're this. giving you eight, nine hundred. They give you money. Like, you can go and, out and, and buy. And just the, the privilege of hanging out with you. Basically. You know what? I'm here to help your mom. Okay. You know what? You you want to lie, you want to sit up here and just BS the whole time? Fine. You know, you'll go back to what, your life. What you trying to help my mama with? Uh, your mother wants, doesn't want her daughter to be a stripper or a prostitute. Nothing, this has nothing to do with my mama, though. Your mother was out here on stage, and I didn't force her out here, and she's asking me for help. Okay. So, you know what? Well, let, I'm let, not going to change right now, so. Well, you know what? You tell that to your mom. Let's bring your mama. No, I'm not talking to my mama. My mama already told y'all I'm not talking to my mama. No, I don't care.
Here's your chance to talk to him, Mom. I'll stand by next to him. I'll do whatever I can, but you got to fight this fight with me. Uh, Let's go over there. Tadroom. You know what? If you're if you're a grown up and you're grown, nah, we can, then act is, like you're grown. This is between me and my mama. We can talk about this at home. No, you know, but it doesn't happen. That that's mama, the problem, you know, you know Tadriana. That's why you're talking about it here because you don't call your mom. Hey, you know what? I want you to talk to your mom respectfully. I don't want you to yell at I your mom. Never, I'm not for the yelling my mom. Well, there I'm you go. My well, so you you like to do things your mom wants you to do, right? So yeah. your mom's asking. She doesn't want you to live this lifestyle. She's okay, concerned right about now, you. That's what pays the bills, and that's what I got. Your mom's do. saying you can stay I'm with her. I'm not trying to move home. I'm trying to be out on my own. I don't, don't want to go back home. But why not go into the army then? Because I don't want to go to the army. I had to take a drug test, and I kept failing. <laughs> what do you need to do to pass I need to the stop test? Smoking. Okay. Just let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. You said these guys they give you money just to be your friend, right? Yeah. If they didn't give you the money. Would they still be your friends? Yes, I still got them. They'd still be your friends, even without the eight, nine hundred bucks. They my friends before I even have sex with them. You trying to make it seem like I go out there and meet dudes and just <laughs> and be That's not how it is. Well, you, this is your mother you're talking in front of, oh, so well, clean your sorry. language up. I'm still. I'm, oh, God. Oh, God. Man, Mom, I'm not going to do this with y'all, man. Y'all can... I'm ready to you go. You keep running. I'm not running. Where's the, I'm not your running. Mom, I'm, I'm here with your mom, and you're not. Okay, you're going to leave your mom back here. You know what? Here's here's your last chance. This is the, here here it is, mom. I'm trying, but she wants to keep spinning it like it's like you know she's she's living in fantasy world, and she can because she's 19 and she's out of the house, and she's you know she's not hurting anybody but herself. So if she wants to keep going down this slope. And she thinks everything's going to be all right. And these are her friends. Doing it right now. Yeah, you can change. Where, that's what everybody says. Mom. Now you have a chance to talk to your mom, and you won't do it. Someday you won't. So your mom's here. And all you want to do is run and say how great and everything's cool. I'm from you. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to waste any more of my time on you. You're right. You're an adult. I tried. I tried for you. I tried to help you. But um, you know what? You want to live that life? You want to go? You think it's cool? I can't stop smoking pot. I, that's why I can't join the Army. You're full of crap. You know that? That's what you are. That is the only reason. I passed my test. That's the only reason. Hey, you know I what? Stop smoking. Uh, I stop my smoking test. marijuana. Stop sleeping with guys for money. Get your ass out of strip club. Go to college. Do something with your life. Simple as that. Come on, Mom. <laughs> You talk to our counselor, Jim. Yeah, he can help you. I'm sorry that, you know, can't change everybody. Yeah. Try.